This show is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Without a healthy mind, being happy is hard. Visit BetterHelp.com slash peer and see if online therapy is for you. Yo, what up, podcast people? Listen, one and only legend of winning, a.k.a. Low. We here with another episode of Peer to Peer Podcast. On my left, I have my co-host, Agent Zero. Say what up. Ah! Behind the desk, we have producer John. You know, we back with a, with a classic pod, just us three, man. We really gonna get some toxicity now. We you got know? some shit to talk about. Yeah, we got some and shit. Tell Caleb again. This is where he gonna start. Hey, Caleb, I want a meteor to hit the screen and then dinosaurs to roar for three seconds. Make it happen. Yep. We're gonna see if Caleb's been editing these podcasts, bro. If he just zones out and watches his. What, what's that football team that always loses he supports? Oh, Clemson. Clemson. Yeah. Always losing, man. <clears throat> yeah, we, we will get we gonna get some some, to some stuff today. today. A lot to talk about, man. A lot to talk about. Uh, yo, shout out to all my podcast people on audio platforms: Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Continue to rate us a five star. Huge shout out to all my YouTube supporters out there as well. Thank y'all for showing mad love, not only on here but on the Clips channel. Make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell to join Nodi Gang, 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 Gang. And third and finally, shout out to my word of my people on all of the platforms, Twitter, IG, <laughs> TikToks. <laughs> oh. I'm finally on TikTok now. Who are you what? I'm finally on TikTok now. Oh, congrats. Yeah, I'm gonna try it out. Don't mm. get got, don't get hooked though. I got two talks. Two talks up. You got two talks up? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. So you're posting as you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't expect that idea. Yeah. And I got I are you doing e boy shit or or like what? Skits, uh, comedy? Well, once I get more rip, I'm gonna get the e-boy earring, and I'm just gonna dance off beat. I'm gonna ruin like songs. I'm gonna find really bad songs that people don't really like, and try to pop it up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. work on making my moves because the key is being overly aggressive. It is. Yeah. Oh, like, and, and shout out, shout out to all my people out there on Twitter Spaces too, dog. Shout out to y'all, man. No, great, great, uh, great conversation we, just, we had. Should we just go ahead and hop, hop into uh, <coughs> your brother? Yeah. What, what, what did Omar do? Brother's viral. What do you do? I wouldn't use that word so lightly. Yeah, what do you do? Viral. He's an island boy. Just oh. trying to make. Oh, do you have the clip? Tristan posted it today. Show show it to Low and send it to Caleb. Let's put it on the screen what? right now. So uh, like, Tristan Jazz, put, put, did that tell y'all on the last podcast? You told me on the last podcast we never got to see it though. You, so you told Tristan, him we was going hooping. Tristan, it's on his IG. Okay, so we went hooping. Up. I'm about to pull you. Go, you to, Tristan, pull up, go to Tristan Jazz IG. We I went know, hooping. Me was there. John was there. He was supposed Smack to come, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lowe was supposed to go too, but he, you he didn't bailed come, last and minute. You missed it. Now, your brother Omar, Lowe, this went is your there. Blood. And when I tell you I've never seen what happened to Omar happen before, I Tristan, can't watch it with a straight face. It, you, it's not possible. What and, he was doing to Omar makes no sense. And he, was playing, he wasn't playing bad defense till I seen the front. From the back. His feet was moving. He was sliding. <laughs> but I didn't see the his face. I haven't even seen the video yet. And how every time I look up, the ball was going in. And, and, and if you think it's edited and he only put in his makes, no, no, no. No, 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 He no, just no. didn't miss. He barely missed. Jeez. He is like that. It's, it. Uh, I'm not seeing, oh, 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 my goodness. Oh, my God. <laughs> he made that? That's tough. It gets worse. How does it get worse? Okay. Those just some of the clips. Oh, he just. So anyway, that's um, not bad defense. And then he lost to Davis. Yeah, and then he lost the, to one one to night. Davis. So your brother is down horrendous. Send him, um, send him our code for better help. Oh man, <laughs> he might. Ooh! Oh my god! Let me see it. Nigga got. Let me see it. I think is it one more? Fuck! I need to see this. Nigga shit. jumped twice. He bit twice <laughs> on that. Oh my god! And like he wasn't playing bad defense. It was just like, hold on, he's still shooting. Tristan's it's like a long, that. it's a long clip. All right, Tristan's like that. Yeah. So, what, what's your thoughts on your brother getting dropped off, Marcel? Um, no, nah, I just think those type of niggas are just way faster than like the average player. There's only one time, no, twice, where I was like, damn, that nigga really got you, dog. He really, really got you. Like there's one time he got crossed over, Stop. he got turned around. He went around. on the floor, dribbled around Omar, and dished it to the paint. Oh, and then the next him. possession, not, he did a step back in Omar's face. Yeah, that one. Hey, let me let me comment on this the, stuff. The, the double the double pump one was Hello. like that was od. Hello, that Hello, double Hello. pump was crazy. No, no, no. That's not even the half. That's not even half of That's it. Even the half. I was there. Yeah. And and I'm not even gonna lie. It took a lot of nuts. 
You know what I'm saying? Y- y'all probably do have no, some big dicks. No, it didn't. Somebody family. had to. Def- oh my god, he's disrespecting them. That double, that <laughs> double pump is crazy. <laughs> Somebody the, the had to do it. Fucking double pump, turn around, pump again, and shoot is crazy. But it wasn't gonna be me. <laughs> it was not. When I seen what he did to Davis, and then Davis switched to Omar, and right went because he heated up on Davis. He dropped eight on Davis. He was only going to sixteen. He dropped eight on Davis, Jeez. warmed up, and then Omar switched on to him at the wrong time. That's like. You ever play with somebody really good and they and they cold at first and then they start heating up and you switch? He caught him when he heated up. Cause some of those shots he wasn't supposed to make. Wow. Uh well, I got to see that in person and I he shot like 90% from the field. It was crazy because I was shooting like 25%. But it's like, hey man, things happen. Also, we we recorded a couple of games, right, John? Uh nah. We didn't have no really cameramans in there. I thought not- you said you put the camera up. Uh, I did, but the angle wasn't that good. Oh, and I tried to get somebody fuck. to record, but when you get a hooper to record <coughs> that don't know how to record, you yeah. get a lot of the feet yeah. and the calves. Yeah. So we, we saw the flexation of a lot of calves <laughs> and shorts. <laughs> Putting the camera play. on the floor is crazy. but uh, So I guess he is going viral, man. So I guess congratulations to him. How many him. views we got right now? Uh, hold on. Last time I checked, it was like 35,000. No, it's uh ninety eight now. Oh, <coughs> ninety eight in two thousand in two, in two hours. Almost hundred thousand people in two in two Damn. hours. But you know you know what that means? What's that? A rematch. So he gonna, he gonna come back with vengeance. So we gonna get him out there again. So <laughs> Omar, Omar, so Omar, Omar don't play basketball like he used to. Huh? Omar don't play basketball like he used to. A good brother. Yeah, you a, a good, good ass brother. brother, bro. You a good fucking guy. No, I'm, I'm what I'm saying is I don't know if he is because I'm saying he doesn't play like he used to. Oh, do you think it's the ice on the cake? Just to make him retire? He's already he stopped he playing as much as he used to. Nigga fucked up his ankle area. Oh, I don't, so he I don't, already I don't, retired. Yeah, I, I, I don't think Omar plays as much uh, as he used to. Okay. I don't think the only thing is I don't think he's actively gonna be like, like well, ooh, his like, two options are to go back out there and lock him up. That's not happening. Nigga. I mean, you never know. <clears throat> you never know. Nigga locking up Tristan Jazz when that nigga's trying is crazy. He had to be really good. And they gotta be really, 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 really good. Or just better you, than Omar. And you miss? You told me to drop how many? Who's who? Would you dropping against? Huh? Who would you dropping against? Them overtime niggas, man. No, when he says the overtime niggas, he means the employees. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, it depends. It depends. <laughs> Look, it depends on who it was. That's why. I asked. But they were bad. They weren't. They no, weren't. no, no, they were good though. They I didn't say, all, I didn't say they, they were bad. Good. I didn't say they were bad. Yeah. But we you we were making an argument about the actual players in overtime, not the employees. Give me some time. <laughs> how many? How many you drop? Me how many you drop? That whole day, probably like. Yeah, in one in like, what's your best? The game? first game, I had all the points. We just lost. Tristan just went off. Stop. He had like six points. I had eight points. I had eight points. <laughs> and that's all the points we had, right? And the games are up to 16, by the way. Uh-huh. Right? But Tristan Tristan just went off. Who was on your team? It was me, me, John, Tom from OT, Sam from OT, and Davis, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. I had a little jumper, had some, some dimes. You know? Yeah. I went over two that game. But mm-hmm. I bounced back strong. Yeah. With what? With what you bounce back with? The next I didn't game, think you gotta get used game to that. I was one for one, and the uh, game after that, I was one for two. So uh, the only thing you want <laughs> used to, you gotta get used to playing on that full court. It, that shit get tired. Yo, what? Because my whole fitness, body was sore the next day. That was crazy. Yeah, that's yeah. how I felt when I played at Georgia Tech. When you play on a real court, that shit do a lot on your body. You get tired, so it's like you LA played fitness, where? The drum, the, the Georgia uh, Tech courts are smaller. Where Georgia Tech. You played it like oh on the court. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, he didn't play for Georgia okay, Tech. Okay, sorry, sorry. I knew, I knew that's I what he, like, I knew that's on. what he meant. To yeah. he, he played on the court. Nah, he just, just had a he just open. I mean, run, I could have open, a open. No, yeah, I, nah. I chose the entertainment route. No, yeah. you could not. It was I just could. open, open gym. Okay, right. word. open gym. Right. It wasn't an open gym. Well, anyway, was basketball had real mad hoopers fun. coming here, so they invited me. Basketball was mad fun. hundred, like even no, 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 it was not. I was hurting playing on a full collegiate court. Yeah, that shit is tough. And then like the I don't know why. A LA fitness realm and a real realm always feel different. Yeah. They're not the same. And and then they're, they're not, like, what do y'all no. want to play on? College or NBA? And Tristan said NBA. Like, you don't you don't get to make that decision for me. And that is crazy. <laughs> I didn't think it plays every day. And I, I believe like he had the ball on the street. Yeah. I'm just looking at Omar feet tap like he's playing just dance or like, <laughs> like he's getting stung by ants or like 
He's getting tased. What else? What else make you move your feet real fast? Um, you doing quick feet chopping? Like you step on Legos. Stepping on Legos. Mm-hmm. Getting bit by a pit bull. Barefoot on asphalt on a hot summer day. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh! Getting groceries with no shoes on. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, your feet Come on the low. snow. Help us out, low. What else? You already said the Legos, right? Yeah, yeah I said yeah. the Legos. Mm. Mm. Nah. Now, nah, but all to the side, he did the best he could have did. Nobody could have did no better than that. Cap. Nah. There's Ooh. plenty of people on that court nah. that day that Anybody else would have guarded him other than me would have failed, would have fallen. Stop. If you would have guarded him, you would have fallen. Davis nah, would have fallen. So the, o- the, o- the OC employees would have got fallen too? Uh, I'm talking about out of the people we know. Snipe was there too? Snipe, Snipe was sniping out there. Man, his yeah. shot was money that day. He was just pulling up from random locations, hitting shots. Yeah, no, he I don't think well. no Snipe wouldn't have fallen, but like lateral speed wise, Omar was the best person to guard him because he was the lightest and like his low to the ground. Like me, I'm not defense is not my strong suit. So if you're faster than me, nah, it would have been it would have been smart. So you mean literally falling like on the ground falling, not like fail. At I'm the talking task. about falling like Davis would have fall. fall. Agent, you would have failed. No, he would just pass oh. me, guys. You said you wouldn't give that much effort to fall. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. That's crazy. He would just like, pass if you would have like if you were playing defense for real, like he like he drew a pass you and cocked it back and did something like that. Like, but Omar did a good job. It just didn't show. It was a couple. It was a couple um shots I saw. I was like, yeah, that's just that's just a tough shot. That, that's and just like a when you see a real shot. shooter, like he told me, like the the best thing to do is repetition. He put up a lot of shots. He said, and then practice shooting the same way every time. Cause then once you do that, no matter hand in your face or somebody, you get it above that person, money every time. How often? Well, I don't know. I will if we can get him on the podcast. I guess I'll just ask him. He said he's down. I asked him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. He said he'll be back here too. So we're gonna hoop again. We'll see another. Yeah. We're gonna let that happen again though. I'm gonna talk to Omar. We beat him the next game. Yeah, we did. Yeah. But, mm. but still, I gotta. I gotta. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. No, we, we did. Games, yeah, we so. did. We yeah. beat him next game. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah, we got that. You got to come next time. You be capping. Yeah. I literally said right before. I said, "Is this a run or is this me actually watching the like the NBA ready players play?" Who did you ask that? I asked that to him. Yeah, I should have lied. Nigga <laughs> <laughs> said, "Should have lied." <laughs> That's tough. So Omar about to go viral. Yeah. What, what, what do you? What you got to? What were you gonna say, man? Okay, there's a few things. One, the customer service in Atlanta is dog shit. I'm just sick of it. At I where? Can't take- Everywhere, bro. Everywhere. It depends on where you go. No, just everywhere here. Chick fil A is dog shit? Just everywhere is bad. Chick fil A? Everywhere, bro. The average experience is bad here. And I realized that. Like, I guess I just let it like fly under the radar for a while, but it's just bad. I was at Dick's Sporting Goods trying to pick out a fucking helmet and uh, for a video. And I get to the counter. I'm like, hey, I also ordered some stuff online. I was like, where did I get it at? And she just walks off. So I'm like, hey, am I supposed to follow you? And she goes, hmm. And does this with her hand. So I start following her. And then she's like, um, what's your name? I start saying my name. And she cuts me off to say, let me have your ID. And when I show my ID, she starts walking off again. She didn't even look. I'm like, what am I doing right now? Like, I just need the fucking stopwatches and a helmet. Can you help me with that? I was just, And then I realized, like, that's actually my average experience here. Like, yeah. you really we went are. To, we, went to, we went to the shirt club. And she literally, um, I just gave her $300. And she just, like, walked away with it. And I was like. What the fuck is going on right now? Wait, huh? I gave the bartender three hundred because normally I it's two ways you normally get changed. Either what was you paying for? I was getting ones. Oh, wow. I I, I uh, you pay right at the beginning. Wow. Like sometimes they'll give you ones, or you they'll tell you go to the bartender. Go to the bartender, wow. give her three hundred dollars, and she's just like, all right, cool, and just walked off. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? I kind of find out rumors now. They they give you uh, they put ten percent on um the money that they give you change for, which is dumb as fuck. So if you give them a hundred, you're only gonna get ninety dollars. I think you said or, that last time. Rumors wasn't like that though. Rumors wasn't wasn't always but like that. I heard they do that anyway. No, some places don't though. I heard they always like because you're never gonna count. You're not gonna sit there because you that's some bum shit. That you ask for a hundred and you sit there and count the whole hundred. Well, normally if if it's if it's in the, if it's in the, the um the wrap like the like out of the bank. It comes in that hundred dollar like wrap thing, yeah. that uh, paper thing. Normally, like obviously, I would assume like you didn't just try to like steal out. But if it comes in rubber bands, they've already counted it out and, and they're giving yeah. it to you like that. But that's tough. 
Uh, yeah, Rumors is better than Remember I, I Remember. And then, or they just got better over the years. But then Gentleman's Club is the one I've never been to. We went to. Horrible. Horrible strip club. Just horrible. So I advise not to go to Gentleman's Club. But yeah, we went, but long story short, yeah, about, no. customer, yeah. about the customer <laughs> service. Because we just don't go we with you. you. About, about the yeah. customer service thing, though, yeah, she just, she didn't say anything to me. She just walked off with $300. Like, she what? didn't give you nothing back. No, she came back, but she just like, all right, and then just walked off. And I was like, where are you where are you going right now? Get you you changed, right? And, and I want to understand. Like, the till is right there, nigga. She, so she walked off to go get the marker to see if it was real. That's what she did. But she didn't say anything. Oh. She just took it and just walked. And like, when I say walk off, she left the bar and went in the back. I was like, what the fuck is going on right now? But the problem with that is, is I want to be understanding because people go through shit. So I don't want to be like, oh. But at the same time, it's so frequent here. There has to either be a, a mental health epidemic in Atlanta or people just lack respect. There's like zero Southern hospitality. And if you go to Toronto, you will, it'll be the polar opposite. You will not catch somebody not trying to go above and beyond to help is the average experience. Not always, but the average. You'd have to go to like a Jamaican restaurant to not get that experience because they don't give a fuck. But anyway, that's, I just wanted to bring that up because I just noticed that that's been my experience, but I just didn't realize it till uh, a couple days ago. What, so what else you want to say? Um, I also wanted to talk about, okay, man, we were in this, uh, Twitter spaces room. Well, oh, we are going to talk about this. Oh, why not? Right, I'm not, cool. I'm not mentioning no names or whatever. I, are we going to do a play by video or no? Yeah, I want to. Okay, cool. Damn, bro. Were you in there, John? Do this, bro. You need to get on Twitter, John. Cause this conversation we had was fucking hilarious. It was. It was. And it's, it's like the antithesis <laughs> of the journey you're going through right now, nigga. Cause oh. you would have been screaming. Man, what what's that button? Oh, fuck! fuck the, yeah, oh, let's he, talk about it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> he's so passionate. Yeah, hey, he's like, he's like, oh, that's what happened. Oh yeah, let's talk about this shit. What? How you want to start it off? Because this right here was OD. So Marcel was in his. Con- I was just looking at me, man. I was just ordering my food. I was waiting on my food to arrive. Right. Uh, I was getting tweets about. Yo, are you gonna join the space? And I've gotten tweets like that before. Yeah. And not only you ever joined one space previous to that. Mm. Uh, it was a 2K space And Davis was telling me to join So I joined mm. So anyway I was like Nah I don't think so But then I was on Twitter And then uh, I tapped into it You know when you tap on a space You can see like who's in there Yeah It was just low And like a sea of women And I was like Oh that's interesting I don't know how Low got his Like finagled his way in here mm. uh, But he did And so then I, I tapped in to listen And for 30 minutes They were like berating this nigga With like either incorrect facts or just their beliefs about like how a relationship is supposed to be or what they're looking for. But the main topic was about the question, um, what do you, what you, bring, you bring to a relationship? Now, the lady who was hosting the room watched a playback video where we were dying laughing because women were being offended by that question. This is a question you should be able to answer. Um, and so it, the, the conversation devolved from there into like a plethora of different things, but... Um, Lo was battling it for like the first 40 because it was a fucking battle for like the first 45 minutes by himself and it was such an odd conversation because it wasn't really going over you would like it John it was a very toxic convo um, they they argued they argued that um, let, me put, let me put some context in there before I got in there uh, TBH and another gentleman was in there the Black Okage and another gentleman and the, the gentleman that was in there was um, referring to his 10-year marriage that had been successful and in that 10-year marriage you know his wife participated in some form of financial responsibilities and essentially dismissed what he just said as if like he had not just told them that he is in a 10-year successful relationship marriage excuse me and in that marriage this is what we do and it's completely fine and they were like no no I feel sorry for her like it was just immediately like that and it's like Bro, so that that's what gravitated for me to come up there because in the beginning they were making they were making statements that didn't make any sense. They were just saying like, "Why do I run into a bunch of men who are asking me this or asking about 50-50? And I'm trying to explain to them, well, most men wouldn't have to do that because most men they don't make enough to just take care of the entire family. That's not most men. As soon as we got to that state principle it was literally one woman in there who just kept going on and on about like no no mm -mm. you just need to work hard enough 
You just need to hustle. You need to hustle more. And I'm sitting there trying to explain to her, like, bro, it's like there's finite amount of resources. Like, you literally can't just hustle more. Someone has to be the worker to a corporation. Like, that just has to ha- That's how that's going to have to happen. No, mm-mm. Nope, that don't make no sense. You're just going to have to. It's like, that, that can't can't happen. But the, I think that was, like, the biggest piece that I think they missed that I would like to say they gained. But everything else is just, like you said, just toxic back and forth and they, they completely missed the, the point but the funniest part was when the the uh one of them was trying to argue get this job she was trying to she was trying to argue that um cooking and cleaning or or services that are provided you know to keep up a household is a one trillion dollar industry now she said john one trillion dollars so then she the household she said like if you look at all the money that is spent on like cooking and cleaning and keeping up the household such as like maid services and i'm assuming some type of you know i don't know i don't know like maid service and stuff like that she said she accumulated that i don't know what what um where she get these sources from i don't know what sources these were from but she claimed that this was a one trillion dollar industry so then she said because of that as a woman if i cook and clean in a house i'm providing one trillion dollars worth of value (laughs) <laughs> Hold on, it's say, it again. It's Wait, say it again Say it again Say it again Say it again Say she, it again she, It got so suspenseful came, She came to Some conclusion Based off of some article That I don't even know If the sources so Are true acting, or not But she's acting like The house is filthy If it's just you And one other person <laughs> So I so, Six so, dishes So John So John I went down Did she that, buy the groceries Well John 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 This is This is We went We went down This rabbit hole I said one Well trillion? if you if you clean the house Monday, you know how many commas it is for one trillion dollars. But no, no, John. Wait, let's let's pause. What's just a couple of things? But we to answer that the answer that first question you said, bro. <laughs> we, <laughs> one trillion dollar. We industry. we went we went down the path. We went down the path of like, hey, yo, if you if you clean the house on Monday, and we don't go, you're not going. People don't go in their living room every single day, so the living room is fine. Why would you then clean the living room again on Tuesday? It's already clean. You just cleaned it. There's nothing else to clean. Mm-hmm. No, the dust dust can just pop up out of nowhere. You can got to clean up the dust all the time. I'm like you're talking about the you talking about the finite amount of dust that accumulates <laughs> within a 24 hour span. Like that's what you want to do. This is how they responded. Yeah, yeah. Because if you don't, you're just dirty. You're dirty. You're dirty if you ain't worried about that. That's literally how they responded. That's you know, like they clean up under their bed under the day. Every, they clean the bottom of their bed under the day. Every day. You you gonna clean up you in the same, your room every day? One same the, spot every day? One of the women was like, well, one time I got my place clean for 200. Now let's take 200 and multiply it by 365. What, like 650,000, 700,000? How many times you got your house clean? You got your house clean for $200 every day? That's what, she, that's what I said. I said, so why, wait, why are you cleaning your house? No, but the every- problem is, is they're talking about things they don't know about. They don't know when anything you, about. I have cleaners, so I know how much it costs. When someone's cleaning your house every day, it's not a cleaner, it's a housekeeper. Housekeepers are salaried. You pay them like anywhere from 40 to 80 bands, depending on whether or not they're legal. Um, because if they're not, then they don't report it and they could just take less. But besides the point, the, the point is, is you extrapolating your one time clean and pretending, you know, all there is to know about an industry is dumb. And you saying it's a trillion on trillion dollar industry is dumber. That's like some the- dust is good for you. <laughs> take away all the good dust. <laughs> Like <laughs> not only that, let's let's just say hypothetically, or just buy an air purifier, guys. Let's, for like, yeah, yeah, five hundred. Or, or let's let's just say, but let's just say hypothetically speaking, it was a one trillion dollar industry, which I, there's no proof of that. But let's just say it is. You participating in the industry that amounts to a trillion dollars does not mean that now all of a sudden. Your value is a trillion dollars. They're not, though. By the way, you cleaning your house doesn't mean you participate in the. Because uh, by that argument, janitors bring a trillion dollars worth of value, correct? And, yeah. it, and if it's that's our what, house, what means, don't right? you want your house clean too? 
Yeah, or I could be like, not only that, they're at the house all day, so they're literally cleaning behind themselves. But that logic is so flawed because I could be like, I'm an entertainer, the entertainment industry, of course, guys. We all know this is an 800 trillion dollar industry. All the studies say so. Yep. So I bring 800 trillion dollars worth of value. So my value outweighs your made up one trillion dollars. That's such a fucking dumb. Does that means if you even work in the tech industry, you win. You bring the most value. So and what's <laughs> and what's crazy is she said that, and then the idiots, the other <laughs> women who were idiots in that. In that room was like other No listen to what she's saying Listen to what she's saying You need oh, to address what she's man. saying And I'm like There's no need to Did she, she ask her Does she clean her house every day? Of course she's gonna say yes Also What standard do you she have? Said, no no. I don't think no girl cleans up every day No but yeah, she, I know I know. No housewives right now No one doesn't clean up every day well, My literally mom doesn't, doesn't clean make, every day She was nobody No no I'm talking about day. like The same room that nobody else Touched foot in every yep. day Every day she cleaned But she that's for half of my time growing up, my mom stayed at home. The other half, she worked like just odd jobs. So, mm. so the she would clean. Not clean Bro, it. there was no moment in the day where she wasn't cleaning, folding laundry. I was like, how do you not run out of things to clean? But you're you're not here when Belize's mom is here. Belize's mom does the same thing here. Ethiopian moms is a different breeds, bro. Like the whole I mean, but house I was like. Uh, I know I, I, be, I was here when she was the first time She'd be kicking it sometimes too She'd be chilling yeah. sometimes Oh yeah 100% yeah. That's, that's all I'm saying I'm I not spend saying more time with She'd be watching the she, Ethiopian dramas Oh well here's the other thing was crazy yeah. so, so you watched it with her Yeah I was with her I was with her more <laughs> than <laughs> least. Here's, here's the other thing that's crazy I, As I was sitting there explaining to them Like how like financially speaking It just doesn't make any sense To expect the average person To you know Take care of the entire family She then The same woman who was talking about You know uh, this is like a trillion dollar industry. She then gave a reference to how her uncle either spent or made somewhere around fifteen thousand dollars a month to, to provide for his family. And I'm like, do you realize like you're just casually just saying fifteen thousand dollars a month? You're just you're casually just saying that as if like that is obtainable by majority of men. You're talking about someone who is like top three percent in earners. That is not a common thing. Yeah, so odd behavior. Um, but anyway, it was funny though. It was funny because it was like they really thought that they knew what they were talking about. But as it continued, the level of ignorance kept being exuded from every word that they spoke, and it was more. It was more. It was encouraging to me because it it made me feel positive about you know men being able to decipher the foolery because I think it was very clear about what they were saying was also very ignorant. But more importantly, though, on top of that. Um, it is sad because I know those type of women are desperate for some form of attention or some type of, of validation from a man because if you're actually in a relationship, you probably would never even make those type of rooms to begin with. So what, what part what part are you saying that that, that I was going to like? Um, the part you had to be there. When they ended it, they said she said men are not the prize. So I said, I don't think you was there for that. I was there. I oh, was, was? In the, I was in a uh, thing. So, so then I was like, so are you saying women are the prize? There's no prize. And she scoffed. She was like, <laughs> women, of course, are the prize. And then she proceeded to tell me all the ways why women are the prize. And she named things like, well, we have your babies and instill like values in your babies and we cook and we clean. And well, it's like have sorry ass values. Well, that's, which, there's one also. Well, which you, should, you should which, technically have hey. a man who could also instill values in the child. He shouldn't just be dormant in the kid's life. I feel what, like in a relationship, you like both should be the prize. You should like each other equally. Well, well, that's what that's what he said. He said that everything is all fairly relative, depending yeah. on this nah, scenario. But this is, is this is the funniest part. Yeah. So that's wild. I didn't I didn't like that she said that. So I tried to use her logic of a prize against her. So I was like, well, you're making a lot of general statements. It's all relative. If LeBron James was dating an average woman, LeBron would be the prize. And she didn't go, yeah. She went, well, it depends on what LeBron values. As if to say, like, if LeBron for some reason just valued his family a lot, then the family would be the prize. But first of all, not only is that beyond dumb, but using that same logic, if I don't value your cooking and cleaning, then you're not the prize. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I can do that myself. I can cook, clean. I don't want to put dishes in the dishwasher. I don't want to vacuum. I can iron. Like, what? what there's nothing you can't. Only thing you can do is give birth. I can do everything else. You just make it easier. And which then, which I, I can in some behind myself anyway, which which in some regards is is fine. I think that on both ends you should make it easier for one another. But they they were making it seem even it was a maybe you weren't in there, but it was a moment where they were like, yeah, like um we had to do like womanly duties. We got we got to take care 
Oh yeah, you were there because she referenced children, your big headed kids, to school. So then I'm like, I didn't even address the fact that she referred. She to, said she's a housewife, right? Yeah, this is the one that wants to stay so at home. What else are you supposed to do? So wait, wait, wait. I didn't, I didn't even address the fact. <laughs> I take the big head kid to school. That's your big head kid too. You exactly. At home I, all didn't, day. I didn't even address the fact that she, in, in this example, was essentially calling her own child a big headed child. Yeah. So I didn't, I didn't address that. But I said, well, no, I, I would. Hope and believe that there were moments where I would also spend time with my child, like genuine child, genuine time, because it's also my child. No, you wouldn't do that. You really wouldn't do that. No, you really. Why wouldn't I? Why? Why wouldn't that not be a thing that I would want to strive for? Go work. Can you imagine going to work, making the type of money that they want you to make, paying for everything, like their car, your car, the kids, the crib, like the lifestyle, everything. And you come home to somebody that doesn't know how to fucking have like a regular conversation. Well, what type of experience is that, man? Horrible. Which they don't make any attempt to understand where you're coming from. They just want you to feed into more of their reality in the world that they've built for themselves. Or, or even make that type of money. And then you come home and in their mental and their warped perception believe that somehow they are the prize. The audacity of someone saying that let's skew this narrative somehow to believe that LeBron actually isn't the prize. Like what? It doesn't matter what LeBron would value because it's not as if like he doesn't participate in his child's life. So even if it's family values, he would still check that box. It's not as if like definitely it's not money. It's definitely not status. It's definitely not looks like what in what world do you believe in? But hey. It, 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 and, it, and let me be clear I don't even subscribe to that That narrative of like Someone has to be the prize over the other one If if you believe that you have to earn A person That means that at some point You are That person isn't really Probably doing nothing To even gain that value There should be some form of objective From both ends So y'all can both get to that That same level field That same playing field of understanding of like we're here together, not someone's being pedestalized, and I have to like climb the fucking ladder of life to grab you or be where you are at. That's that's fucking nuts. But and the example one of them used was a bird with feathers, and the female bird goes to the bird who could flap the feathers the best or whatever. Because you know there are specific. I watched a documentary about a specific type of bird that does like a performance while the female bird is watching. And then if she likes the performance, she'll pick him. And then, comparing us to birds, which, which is, is crazy, rare, a rare bird. Which which is Not crazy. All birds do this. Which which <laughs> is crazy. You know why it's crazy? Because <laughs> while she was saying it, because she also she also referenced about how like men are hunter gatherers and like back in the day with like animals in a way and I told her like oh this is reality and not Lion King so let's let's talk about men and women so then we go fast forward she was like I just don't like the way that you're like trying to like qualify what we're doing like well, you need to still act as if like we're human beings just literally 10 minutes ago you were referring to referring to us as if like we're animals now all of a sudden when you're being criticized oh no no we need to be treated like human beings and then that's when the whole pivot to Oh no! Well, um, if you think about it, I participate in a trillion dollar industry. That's where that then dissolved to. It was a it was it was a horrible conversation, but I also found it interesting. I went into another room uh, not too not too later after that, um, and I was speaking to um, another. Um, I was speaking. It was a room with Omar and a bunch of other people, and it was like two or three other women in there, and we were talking. And then um, she was saying this thing about um, how no, I believe that you know men men should. Um, Men should she should provide. I said, all right, well, I mean, if that that's fine. If that's what you believe, that's fine. We're just talking about make sure you respect everybody else's wishes and desires and relationships they want to be in. But at the end of the day, if that's what you truly believe, um, as a woman, what do you think that uh your your womanly duties are? Oh, cooking and cleaning, da 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 da. I was all right, cool, 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 cool. Before this, she had said that men men should not um get in relationships until they are um they are financially stable, which I agree with. I say all the time, don't get in relationships until you are stable across the board. But as I said that, uh, when we got to the womanly duty, she said cooking and cleaning. I said that's great, that's great. So what what about um a woman who can't cook? You think that they don't deserve to be in a relationship? Oh wait, no no no. They well at least she's trying. Give her some time. She's trying. She's trying. I said, well, that, that doesn't make any sense because you just sat there and said that a man has to be financially stable before he gets in a relationship. You can't make 
You can't eggs. make a cake. You can't yeah. make it some fucking scrambled eggs. So, a tasty sandwich. So so then she, <laughs> so then, time. So then so then I asked her, so are you are you willing to are you willing to be with a man who is trying to get to his point so you have to wait until he started making the money the same way that he has to wait for you to figure out how to cook? Oh well when you put it like that. What if you don't even clean good? When you put it like that, it's you got good, shrinks though. on the mirror. Hey, it's, it's no, no, that right there, that moment was a great, I was like, now we, this is a forward thinking conversation because at least you can acknowledge your your um the how how close minded you were previous to before we had this conversation. But for whatever reason, it's so odd. I we then I asked the same question. Like, so if you believe that the womanly duties that that um, uh, that you're supposed to provide is cooking, the man he provides financial. That's what you believe. You will more than likely figure out that he is financially stable to some degree within the first two or three dates. So you as a woman who you need to show to him that you can cook, how often do you invite a man to your house to cook for him? She nobody, was silent. She was silent. Who, nobody really Straight, cook nowadays. No, nobody does. Nobody does. Nobody does. I never really see, unless they're with their family, they, not they don't really be cooking. Which is a shame because there's so much great technology that makes it so much easier to cook. You know what I'm saying? I never heard that's that's great. I never heard. Hey, John, I cooked tonight. I got a plate. Come eat. In all in, in all cook. honesty, so if, I, if, if I that, barely hear, I'll call you back. I'm cleaning. Don't hear that either. Don't hear that either. Shit, real dirty, <laughs> cluttery. I, I you I don't hear that either. I don't hear. Hey, I'm I, I'm sinks I'm clogged with hair. <laughs> Sink fill up with water like. like uh, sink clogged with hair. It's crazy. You but I wouldn't wish a housewife you, to start cooking. That's the That's like a, a nigga part of the saying one like yeah, I'm a, the one trillion dollar industry. I'm gonna start hitting yeah, these one buckets. Dollar, one trillion dollar. That, on that the team. right there threw me with it. One trillion dollar industry is crazy. That's that's bad. Hey, um yeah, you should both be the prize to each other. Like we asked um everyone yeah, who's been on sure. this podcast, what's your top 5? You can find somebody with a majority of those things and then their list is the majority of the things they want in you, then you guys are each other's prize. The, the world you live in where you're trying to find a rare person but you're the prize. It's just unlikely. It's just unlikely. You guys would most likely be each other's prize. And you believe in that for some reason. You have to be above the man. Just makes makes me believe that you'd be intolerable to be around. Also to the to the women as well. When when we say the phrase what you bring to the table, I asked this yesterday as well in, in some of the Twitter spaces. How often is that actually asked to you verbatim? I have one Woman said it, she she got asked that before. Majority of them said no, no. No one's never asked me that. Nobody, so no. then I said, why the fuck are y'all offended? Then the only time that is actually being poised to anyone is in some form of content form where we're just having a dialogue back and forth and we're just having a conversation. But when someone is dating someone, very rarely will a man ever even ask you what yeah. you bring to the table. We're just, a, the, the sentiment of the question though still stands because after we've gone on several different dates with you all, many of you all cannot articulate what exactly do you provide. But that's all that is. The actual verbiage of what you bring to the table Nigga, no one actually asked you all that. So calm down and stop being fucking offended by a hypothetical question you get you get asked yeah. on somebody else's podcast. Calm nobody, down. Yeah, nobody really asked that. Nobody does. Nobody no, fucking asked that question. What that, do you bring to the table? That question is like illegal to ask to some people, but you making a whole bunch of judgments about me based on my horoscope is fucking perfectly fine. Crazy. Oh, that's terrible. That zodiac shit. Terrible. But they do it routinely. Ooh, you a Taurus. Like, Ooh, I get you know that. that means. I get that so many times, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even gonna say my my sign because I ain't want. You know what I'm saying? You gotta just try to get this portion of the podcast is sponsored by Honey. Man, you ever check something out online and then you get to the part where you're supposed to pay, but it has a section for coupon codes, but you don't have one of those? That's tough. Other people do, and that means you're spending more money than you have to. Now, wouldn't it be handy dandy if there was an app? that could scrounge the internet for all those coupon codes and make sure that you got the best deal. Well, that's exactly what Honey does for free. Man, I was looking to purchase me a camera and I, I came to the same realization. I don't happen to have myself a code. Now, back in the day, you get on Google and you do your searches and you see maybe if any content creators came out with a code. It's a whole process. Why do that when Honey can just find you all the code? So I downloaded Honey and the reality is I had a new computer and I was a little too lazy to download Honey, but it takes less than 10 seconds to do. So you can Get skedad along done down to the Chrome store, Marcel. Get yourself honey and make sure you start saving ASAP. 
<laughs> so you're telling me, let, let's be clear. You're telling me I can click whatever I want. I'm online shopping, right? Yes. Hypothetically speaking, it's holiday season right around the corner. It is. So I can just pick some clothes out. Uh huh. Go to the checkout. Right. Right where it says apply for coupon. Correct. Click it, and then Honey just does the rest. They, they actually find the discount code for me. That is absolutely and positively correct. That's crazy, dog. So even if the camera I'm purchasing costs eighteen hundred dollars, Honey gives me a hundred dollars off seventeen hundred dollars. That's a hundred you could buy like I don't know a couple extra batteries accessories with mm. so it's money back in your pocket and you don't have to do any extra work for it honey has over 17 million members already saving money in over 30,000 stores so no matter what you're searching on the internet there's a good chance that honey has savings for you if you don't already have honey you could be straight up missing out on free savings it's literally free and installs in a few seconds and by getting it you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast i'd never recommend something i don't use get honey for free at joinhoney.com slash peer that's joinhoney.com slash peer first of all we got our own honey code i've been waiting for that point in my career so hey mm. use that code and it's a huge thank you to honey for sponsoring this portion of the podcast or how, or how many times Or how many times they, they, they badger Or ask you questions Or try to figure out How much money you make That's I never mean, happened to me bro That never happened to me That's never happened to you <laughs> where, they ask, where they ask questions About how much money you make Man, or, No not, I'm not asking you Not how much money for verbatim But like Hey what do you do for a living What, what side of town That's, 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 that's just trying make. to get to know you just, By the time yeah. they see a car of mine I'm gonna Or say a house you, of mine I'm They'll say, know yeah. They'll exactly, know yeah. I can't hide it Unless I bring I in the ho- Unless I bring in the hotels And even then That's kind of a flex too or or I'm hiding something, but that's kind of the a point. date, and you bring someone back to the hotel, and you're not traveling, is weird. But the, that's the same thing. I, well, that was the thing I was pointing out even in the beginning, where with men, if the perceived value is supposed to be financial, you back to the hotel. <laughs> Don't, Don't you, you stay here? here? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> house getting clean. It, it's a 1.4 trillion dollar industry. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They clean the house right now. If the, if the perceived value is that a man's supposed to have his fi- finance, they, I mean, you're most women y'all are gonna know within within the first two weeks. Yeah, I have. Like you're gonna know if if what you can do can be outsourced is not rare, but that doesn't necessarily mean you can't do it at an elite level. Like third, some people, some people make like incredible food. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's not like. I can't just order that food or find someone who mm-hmm. cooked that food. Mm-hmm. So that's rare. So you got to be some kind of rare talent at what you do. Like when you clean, is there a dust particle left? <laughs> you make sure you got them all. Yeah. But no man is coming into the house, like checking the floor in the corner. Like, oh, you got that particle over there, right? Yeah. Yeah. You missed the particle. I saw some dust because the sunroof, the sunroof, the sun was and let's also, through. And this is the last thing. Let's also be clear. If the man doesn't do his job, the ramifications of him not doing his job is way more severe up until, in the traditional terms, up until you all have kids. Because, nigga, if you don't fucking clean the dishes, that's one thing. But if I don't pay a light bill, then we don't have electricity. If I don't pay the gas bill, we don't have heat. If I don't pay a water bill, we don't have water. And if I don't pay the rent, we get kicked out. So let's be clear. No, it's, I mean, it's, if you want to be a housewife, cool. No, no, I'm, I'm saying I, I feel like you have to have a personality for that, though. You oh, know what I'm saying? Mean, I, what, if that's what you want to do, that's fine. Imagine you come home and she's like rambunctious and as bold as some of the women was in that chat, trying to violate the whole time. Crazy. Like, no, who's tolerating that? Have no, some respect, nobody's, man. Nobody's. Have some fucking respect, man. Nobody not tolerating that shit. Hey, but anyway, live your life. Find someone that can do that shit for you. Good luck. Um, Speak. Anything else? No. Speaking of Twitter no, there spaces. is, but I just don't. I, it's not on my mind. But I'll bring it up when it comes uh, up. Though. Speaking of Twitter spaces, also y'all, some of y'all other niggas, y'all gotta chill out on that, bro. I've been seeing somebody. There've been people in Twitter spaces where there's like, listen to me, suck dick. And oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just what? a. <laughs> yep, they'll be like jerking off, and you can just hear the audio. Of the Wait, they is men. It's both men and women. There's men saying, "Why you get so oh, interested?" Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, so, oh yeah, you you doing it so good. Then there's women saying, like just straight fucking throating it. So they just be just audio of them doing. Yes, it's acting as if like they're sucking each other off. Yes, acting. Yeah, they're not. They're not. Nigga, what? They're not in the same room. Oh, I thought like that's what I thought you. People was, like, was dead getting like throat fucked, and no, they just turned on Twitter one, spaces. No, there's one nigga. Who's acting like he's getting sucked off? Unless they got two phones there. Oh, 
I guess that makes sense because you can only suck dick for so long. I'm gonna say if, if you cross, like what was that? <laughs> nah, buddy, buddy, famished. You fake getting head on the Twitter space? <laughs> no, 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 not no. Let's let's wait. Let, let's be clear. Let's be clear. Them niggas are are odd, but the fucking thousands of people who are in those rooms are also odd. Nick, we talk. We talk about rooms that are and holding. You can see who's in these rooms. Yeah, too. you can see too. Yeah, nah. we're talking about rooms who or who are holding three, four, five thousand people. And that's what they're doing. Yes, listening to somebody else gets fake sucked off. Crazy. There's also other rooms where like niggas are just yelling and they call it a loud room, and the whole entire time they're just yelling. Like you just. Some of y'all, my boy, they are really bored. Yeah, they're yeah, they're they're bored. Like, bored. Really bored. <laughs> <laughs> the, the fact you get off work, yeah, get off work. Dick dry. That is crazy. Dick dry as fuck. No pussy in sight. <laughs> in sight. <laughs> you bought coffee from all your coworkers. Nigga, she still ain't fucking with you. You go home, hop on Twitter. You moan to listen to another three thousand people. Nigga, that's crazy. But on Twitter, well, it's so identifiable. It's like. Your coworkers probably listen to you moan type shit. Yeah, it's uh, but, well, let's for moaning. Also, yeah, I wish <laughs> there, had, there has to be a Your Twitter fake head orgasms. Twitter needs to like make it like private because I don't need I don't need to see niggas in certain rooms that they in because the rooms that some of y'all niggas in nah, is I need crazy. To, I need to see that. No, I, I don't need to see it. I'm fine. I need to see it. I'm, <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I need I'm to see on. what y'all be up to in your free time yeah, trying to fill your boredom. I need to see it, bro. The only time I need to see it is to figure out who I need to unfollow. Cause y'all niggas, y'all niggas is odd, boy. I don't really follow nobody that go into rooms but you and no more. And Davis. Davis barely uh, this doesn't. Man, Isaiah, what's his name? Isaiah Stewart? Yeah. Yeah. That nigga's ready to beat that nigga ass. No cap. He playing the wrong sport. He didn't he didn't broke nine you know what tackles. Happened? LeBron, LeBron accidentally punched him in the face. And they got, they got almost got into a fight, like a, like a like very WWE. legit fight. Yeah, and he start bleeding. He start bleeding so much so it was LeBron all. LeBron punched someone in the face by accident? accidentently. How right. do you punch someone by accident? He's boxing, boxing He's out, boxing out. And his um, as he was like grabbing the box out, I guess he just slipped on his shoulder. And he hit a fan. And he hit, no, this is a player. Oh, and he hit the he hit the player in his mouth. It was like then, special effects. When LeBron hits you, you just gotta eat it, bro. Like you. No, he was bleeding. Good, no. good. And yeah, it was, he, was crazy. He could bleed I don't on the know. Sideline. He seemed like he was fine, and they kind of like got close together, and, and it was almost like they were just having like the, nah. yo, nigga, watch out, what you doing, watch out. And then out of nowhere, he got mad when he saw that blood. Yeah, he just got he got way because he just got you know like, when you whoa, get hit, nigga, what? You know how it's mad, and then you start bleeding, and you get mad. No, nah. like, like you get hit, and it's like, oh, you good, bro? And then like your lips start swelling. And now you got this big, this big bump in your lip. Like you got foul. Are you and now you mad? You like what the fuck? Like hey, niggas always fouling this shit. But this is like mid game. Niggas blood all down his face, looking like Mark Henry. Yeah, he was uh, bloody. Get a cage up. match. <laughs> no and then, bars. And then and then they were like letting him walk off and stuff like that. And he was like, nah, bro. Nah. He spun off and like ran back nah. towards him and stuff like that. The Bro- Falcons. The Falcons need him. <laughs> he stiffed arm six. Yeah, he, six he, he, employees. Yeah, he did. He was like, he was a <laughs> stiff water boy. Yeah. The niggas with the mops. Uh, he's having today, like literally like three hours ago. So we don't. Oh wow. LeBron yep. got um, tossed out the game though. But Damn, that's a W man's right there. Then yeah, seventeen. Pay, getting LeBron yards. packed up at the game is a they're W still muscle, actually. That's tough. <laughs> Not only you know so crazy, they were up by like fifteen when it happened. They still lost that game. Wow. Yeah. It's the Pistons though. It's one he, of the worst teams. He broke some records. What do you think? He got ejected. How many points he had? Who, LeBron? No, uh, Stewart. I don't know. But LeBron had 10 points, which a lot of people were going crazy because they were like, because if he got ejected before that last shot he made, he would have, that would have been the end of his streak. Of what? 10 points per game, at least, each game. He's on the, he has the longest streak right now of the most consistent, like, 10-point games. Well, who's going to beat him? <laughs> oh, okay. well, MJ was beating him for a second, but then he passed him. But yeah, then so there's no one's going to beat him in the next. Isaiah Stewart. What? Give him like eight had. years till KD figure it out. No, but he has, KD's too old at this point. He can't. He has 17 rushing yards. <laughs> but he was mad. He was, yeah, he was mad. He was mad. And then Russ, what's Westbrook doing? That nigga's a clown. I can't stand Russ. Hey, um, Caleb, at this point in the podcast, I want you to put the sun from Teletubbies on the edge of the screen, please. <laughs> and then put, put three Teletubbies slowly coming from the ground, peeking up <laughs> like they peeking from the, like, from the lower level. So they're going to come up, peak, 
and then make the eyes move while they watching the Nodi game, and then let them duck back down. That's good. That's Do that tough. shit, Caleb. You the got green, it. the red, and the yellow one. <laughs> Y'all niggas hell, my boys. Oh, uh, shit. Um, RP, RP the Young Dolph, man. We we didn't say that last episode. RP the Young Dolph. Yeah, I didn't really follow up on all the specifics, but. Yeah, that sucks, bro. Yeah, it does suck. Did you hear his like his stream spike like crazy? I heard the stream spiked and then the followers on on Instagram spike. I always found that odd behavior. Um, you know what? That made me think though. While I was driving, I thought like, if you was really trying to make it, bro, fake your death and come back in like three years. I don't think, know. Think, think about I it guess. logically. Uh, that's not gonna work. Why? Why do you think that? Record a lot of music. Your label didn't, didn't drop the you albums. With, they didn't fuck with you. You living. You die. They fuck with you. You come back. You alive. Then they're not gonna fuck with you no more. Oh no, no, it's not necessarily like a career play. It's more like it's a, definitely not a career. It's, play. It's, like, it's, think about that. <laughs> it, like, you, they don't me. fuck with you already. Yeah, that's but not you a die, and they kind of fuck with you. And they realize, hey, I'm playing. I'm alive. They fuck does. this nigga again. Like, not only would that be a great experiment to see how much your sales drop the second you come back to life, but on top of that, your like, niggas be like, think about <laughs> niggas getting mad that you lie. This nigga's a lie. Hey, <laughs> a nigga said, yo, what he my, was what my back to live numbers looking like? Nigga? <laughs> <laughs> what my restart numbers looking like? They'd be like, like wow, your, your numbers is down big on Spotify. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Tell me why I just seen Agent and Kroger's. Just delete it. Just unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> See, oh fuck No no cap though If someone just wanted If they didn't give a fuck about music And they just wanted to make some money And they had a little bit of clout Just die And come back in two to three years bro Go on vacation bro To Oslo How can, can you get that money What if that don't work I don't know you If can't. it don't work Then you, you was on vacation my brother <laughs> Like you're doing nah, You really irrelevant If that don't work Like you die And nobody still show you love Dog if you die And come back Every news media Is gonna be covering you and you, But you're not gonna No if you know What he's saying is If you die and you went from let's just say a million streams to one point one. Like you only gained a hundred thousand streams after you died. Niggas not fucking with no, you, I'll dog. T- I come back the next day. Yeah, <laughs> I be like, yo, what's up with y'all niggas, dog? What's up with the fake love, bro? Y'all got it no more? Yeah, what, what, y'all, what, y'all fake love? Where that fake love at, nigga? What's up with y'all niggas? I'm hungry, nigga. Oh, yo, what is vacation you ain't free? Listen, huh? <laughs> you think I went and hide it for free? This shit ain't cheap, nigga. <laughs> I bet it's streams and shit. They got I got satellites I, nowadays. To, Hiding is tough. I'm about to leak a selfie you know, of me. No, but the reason why is because, you know, for a long ass time, people have been talking about Tupac coming back. Tupac, yo, he's not even dead, bro. Tupac, not. It's not a conspiracy. That's, that's, different, that that's different, though. So, but imagine he came back to life right now, though. I don't but that's know. That's different, though. That's going to be Tupac weird. Tupac had a legit know. fan base, though. We talking about just like one hit wonders saying, I'm gone now. No. Nah, like the dude that made, what's that song? That 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 hop in the motherfucker that like that. Nah, 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 nah. You saw that dude. You saw nah. Pop Hunter. Whoa! You saw that dude violate um Salito or whatever his name is. The dude who whipping Nene. What happened? He he sat there and said, "Yo, bro, they got my man Kobe, bro. It was a, it was a hit job. You know, they were trying to do the exact same thing to me, man. But I, I made it alive. Made out the industry. A nigga beneath him, like." Fucking ratio the shot of him but was like Let's just be clear um, Solid toe Like nobody actually Cares about your life at all Like if you die today Like nobody really Wouldn't care We only were with you With the whip and nene And it's been several years later And nobody hasn't cared Since then So if you pass away It's not a hit job It's just your time to go Like you just said <laughs> No that's wild And then that, What's Kurt Nana said it's not a hit job It's your time to go then, <laughs> And then nigga Silent toe had 10, Somehow 10,000 likes the nigga who said they got 40,000 likes and he just deleted his fucking tweet. He was like, I can't do this no more. Crazy. Right, they just said, they anyway, with you a year ago, a rapper, ago. a rapper pulling anywhere from two to 10 million monthly listeners on Spotify. Please look into the death rebirth marketing strategy. There's um, no strat. Just you be making a blueprint. That, There's that's no strat. Weird, though. Here's the strat. The strat is record a fuck ton of music before you die. Make some references about you dying in the music potentially, so like it really speak to people, For sure. and then leave, bro, and then come back oh, like no, a lookalike. No, no, no. You know what you also should do? Then also like casually re- like record some more shit to while you dead, 
and then drop and just it. Slide the hard drive oh, through the mail. Yeah, and just just <laughs> so, drop it while it's happening. So it'd be like, yo, how did he know? How did he know this is gonna happen? Whoa. Like you like okay. Yeah, how, how, the, the, how the fuck he know that Joe Biden was gonna win again, yo, bro? Yo, how he know you Dogecoin rap- was going to the moon, nigga? What the fuck? Yo, and he you go like Kanye did, you change your name legally, you come back like a lookalike. And you could secretly drop music about stuff like it's prolific. That's crazy. And then it'll be all unreleased stuff. Mm. Mm. And you keep dropping music while your name changes. So I changed my name to uh, the fact Alfonso, you Alfonso Cretaceous Lemons. <laughs> That's such a nasty name. And I would make YouTube videos as I was John. But legally, I'm Alfonso. Yeah, you look just like John. Yeah. I get that a lot. <laughs> you speak like him too. I get that a lot too. I'm just gonna cut my hair. Oh yeah, and that, gain a lot of weight. That's what people do in movies, but uh, where they just go bald oh, and then they're like, "Yeah, they're I gain a lot of weight to cut now. my hair." Yeah, and I look like low, low key. That no. that might. <laughs> I put glasses on too. You wouldn't even recognize me. I'd be unrecognizable. No, you need a ski mask. You really look like low. If I gain. 150 pounds, cut my hair, and wore glasses, you would not recognize me no more. <laughs> you wouldn't recognize you. Let's go to you would be like, I look familiar. Like, like, I've seen shot. you somewhere. You sound familiar. That's what we would say. Unless yeah, I, yeah, but I'll lo- change my voice. Okay. I'll probably start talking like this. No, you your know, voice is the same. You, just because no, you talk not. at a lower tone doesn't yeah. mean it's not your voice. It's not the same. You think you'll be like, whoa, oh my God, you got us, John. <laughs> yeah. Like, nigga, no, it's still you, bro. We hear no. you, nigga. But you could dead just make music and then ship hard drives to like your confidant that knows you're alive and he works in the label and he's just pushing them out. I'm telling you, someone has to try it at least. Yeah. Anyway, uh, back on top. But after year three of you recording new music, they'd be like, man, he has so much. Like, when is this going to end? No, that's that's how right now I feel about some artists. Oh, yeah. You had that much in the tank? Cool. Uh, Juice has been dropping steady album after album after album. X went like eight albums deep uh, post- I know, but when some of those some of those songs that are like there's only like a hook in a verse. Yeah, from yeah understandable. But just the but fact that all that a, music exists. Like is let's crazy. just say hypothetically speaking, like if Drake was still dropping like eight AM in Toronto type music, like just simply Oh like, my god. Like if he was just dropping just he himself rapping for five minutes, you're like Drake, be... Drake still dropping shit like that. <laughs> be they could have broke this up into nine songs. Yeah, what's going on? Man? <laughs> Nah. After after five years though, you dropping kisses, they be like, "All right, come on, dog." They didn't know where this. So, uh, but that was doubled by the fact that Juice Dead just Juice quite literally just dropped a song called "Already Dead," in the song referring to him already being dead, and then mm. it it threw me back to the Tupac uh, is not dead rumors that I remember hearing growing up, and I was like, "Yeah." Uh, but anyway, back on topic. Wait, wait, wait we're just very... last thing. Oh yeah, before we get who, serious who's, again. Who? No, before you get serious again. What if a nigga was like dropping a diss record while he was <laughs> on who? On his, just on anybody. He's like, you know, somebody's got mad disrespect while he was quote unquote passed. So, and he's like, I'm not going in the booth, nigga. I can't handle this nigga no more, dog. <laughs> and he was just dropping. I you predicted dro- that you was going to talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He had to make it all seem like. And nigga was like, whoa, whoa. Is he really talking about He going at him right Niggas now? Niggas with dress and white hair always got something to say. <laughs> Till I knocked the double zero out of his play. <laughs> How did he know? How did he know Agent was going to say something crazy like that? Whoa. Or just make like slight He keep raising references. his voice. I told him keep it low. Yeah. <laughs> Not Yo, nigga, dead on no the floor. Cap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no cap. <laughs> you storytelling in, a, uh, in the future is crazy. It's crazy, nigga. You, no, you beefing with a dead nigga is crazy. <laughs> That's how you responded to that. <laughs> you, uh, if a nigga body you in a de- in a, in a, in a rap battle and he's already dead, how you gonna respond to that? What's your rebuttal? You definitely don't respond. You just gotta take that, right? Oh, mm-hmm. what, what, nigga, we, you don't immediately win bro, battles after that. <laughs> what would you say if a nigga was alive and he and he, and he communicated with his ghostwriter and his ghostwriter said that he was a medium? And he'll get the oh, lyrics. That'd be crazy from <laughs> heaven. <laughs> He's gonna like, bro, being he, dead and he, still he needing wrapped a it to him through the, <laughs> through the spirit world. And he was like, "Yeah, he told me that he he felt that low was talking shit down here on Yo, earth, and he told me to write this. Music is not for you eyes. if you need to die and you need a ghostwriter. It's just not for you, bro. Um, try something else like film. No, it's not a real ghostwriter. It's like I fake die. I see you my rap." And you say you're a medium. 
You got my rap from the spirit. Why does that sound like a crazy skit? Yeah. But yeah, I'll take- be having the craziest ideas. TikTok. Yeah. Somebody gonna take it. But again, RIP the young Dolph. Um, you know, more and more. Unfortunately, this also happens where more um, information about how good someone is doing in the community only gets released yeah, once they I pass hate away. That. Which is so sad. I hate it. I hate it. That's, I, hate that's, it. I saw a lot of that, which was in some part, I was like, oh, that's great. Like, it's crazy he was doing that. That's a good thing. Happy he had that type of impact while he was alive. But it's also like, why wasn't that highlighted when he was alive? Like, why, do you, why would you wait? Especially the way that many outlets attempt to depict um, black men in many ways. Why would you wait till he's already passed away to then try to tell people all the positive things he did? Why not just why not do that while it's happening? Yeah, I didn't I didn't listen to his music that much. It was a few songs I did, but um, death is death. Just to do it out in public like that is fucking wild. Crazy. Um, and I think, I don't know, it should be a lesson. Like, just be careful, uh, especially if you have opposition, uh, because yeah. it, he, his his vehicle is easily identifiable. And when your vehicle is easily identifiable, you can't just do whatever you want, whenever you want, without a lot of security. Yeah. Um, and just be careful, man. Take precautions so you guys stay safe. It is unfortunate, you know, um, you have to live through other people's insecurities, but it is the reality um, yeah. I hope they catch him. Did they catch him? Uh, they 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 gonna catch, find him. They they are gonna find him. But they 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 caught the um the vehicle. The vehicle. Yeah, yeah, they caught the vehicle. Um, but yeah, like I said, unfortunately, you know, some people there are a lot of people out there who have to live through other people's insecurities to be safe, and, and you know that is the unfortunate truth. And um, yeah, just be safe out there, man. Just be just be safe. Um, what else? What else is there for us to talk about? Mm. I'll make sure we hear all the, the talking points before we just go into like some random shenanigans. I can't think of anything. Yo, Johnny, any other talking points before we go to some random shenanigans? Uh, nah, nah, not not the top of my head. Okay, so I'm coming about let you know. Uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Two things. Someone said if you had a million dollars and you had to pull up to a function, well, uh, how did it go? It's just random shenanigans right now. So I guess you can. Okay, or uh, Danny Lee and the baby. We talked about it on, on what you call it. Ain't really much to talk about. But I'm talking about two, the brother. The brother wants to box the baby. He said he's going to put 200000 of his own money down. He said that after he came out of the hospital with a broken neck. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? He was saying, he's like, I just got to the hospital. My neck fucked up, but I still fight your ass. Like, he still does. He said, all that. Nigga's dumb. So he's off of morphine. Yeah, crazy. Why the fuck? He definitely is because talking to the baby like that is nuts. That's not even the guy you want to talk it's to. Definitely like, what, 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 That's definitely not the nigga. What happens to at him. this point? Like, he publicly humiliated his sister, and he's going to publicly humiliate him. Who's left? The dad? I don't know. But that's that's just the wrong nigga to even, like, try. I wouldn't even... The, the baby, trying to the baby is crazy. That's, that's like, nuts. If you keep beefing like that and talking crazy, one of the baby's little babies, or his minions, the babettes... <laughs> They gonna touch you. The you saw you saw, crazy. Fire. you saw you saw that you saw that gay man who approached Boosie like that. Boosie was coming out of a, uh, a store, and then is that that look fake? It looked fake. That's what they said. You think I, that'd be crazy? Boosie faking gay altercations. That'd be crazy. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> Calling it a gay altercation is also crazy. <laughs> yeah, bro. I was at. <laughs> He yeah, just came, he just walked out of the store, and a gay man approached him like, "You need to stop talking about that shit on the internet." But it was like aggressive with him. And the boost was like, oh, stop. You don't get away from me. As if like, because he was gay, he was like a vampire or something like that. Like <laughs> the way he was, it was so odd. It was it was odd as shit. Boozy's a different breed. <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah, bro, I was at Walmart a moment ago. There was this little bopper. She was like four years old, five years old. She was so small. Mm-hmm. She kept staring at me. And I had no idea why she was staring at me, because that's not my demo. But she kept staring, and I, I can't just stare back at her. Because if, if the mom just comes by and sees that, she's going to be like, why are you trying to take my kid? But so I was in there trying to find a tape measure. And I'm, I'm, keep on, I'm approaching this little girl because she's right by where the checkout is at. Mm. And then she turns because her mom's right around the corner. I can't see her mom. Yeah. She goes, mommy, that's a famous YouTuber. 
This podcast is brought to you by BetterHelp. Here on Peer to Peer, we take mental health very serious. And the best way to really address your mental anguish is to see a therapist. And that's exactly what BetterHelp does. But this time they have a twist because BetterHelp basically allows you to see a therapist at your own convenience, at your own comfort in your home. You can do it any time of the day. And on top of that, they can get back to you just like that. Literally within 48 hours, you will be in communication with a specialized therapist that will fit your certain needs and preferences to whatever you're dealing with. BetterHelp is committed to making sure that your needs are being addressed and they do so with a wide range of certified therapists that are available worldwide. And again, not only is available to you at your convenience, but also at a very affordable price, something that a lot of people have a hard problem with when it comes to seeking therapy. So if you want to live a better life, go to BetterHelp today. Visit BetterHelp.com slash peer. That's better. H-E-L-P and join over 2 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help and experience from professionals. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional therapists in all 50 states. Special offer to peer-to-peer listeners to get 10% off on your first month at betterhelp.com slash peer. Again, that is better, H-E-L-P.com slash peer to get 10% off on your first month. And again, huge shout out to BetterHelp for sponsoring this portion of the podcast. And I realized I have four-year-old girl fans now, apparently. That was my first time in my life experiencing that. From where? Which which channel do you think it is? Huh? Which channel do you think it is? Oh, I have no clue. I just didn't expect it. In never my wildest dreams would I have looked at the little bopper and thought, oh, yeah, yeah, she watches my videos. I It didn't even occur to me that's the reason why she's looking at me. It has to be AMP. It has to be AMP. I mean, I was at the gym today, and I know... I could tell that like, people that know because it's how they be looking at you, mm-hmm. and then they be trying to hoop. I was hooping somebody today. They was like, "John, I didn't know you could hoop for real. I thought you was really sorry." I was like, "That's a backhanded compliment." I, I, I guess appreciate it. But where you, you think they got that from? That belief, huh? Where you think they got that belief from? I don't. I don't. I, bet, I guess they just assume YouTube niggas are sorry. Like if I look at you, I oh, it's sorry us niggas that are. <laughs> Nigga said, we're sorry. No, he's right there. Yeah. Uh, they just assume a lot of people is not. Well, people walk up to me and say all type of shit. People tell yeah, me, like, like, oh, you're way sh- They be like, you're way shorter in person. I'm like, all right, why'd you tell me that? Well, you're way taller in person. Okay. Well, why are you just, they just spit out their observations in front of me. I was at the yeah. OT arena. There was a fucking, a, a little teeny bopper who had the audacity. You have a lot bro. of inter- altercations with teeny boppers. Apparently, this guy really frustrated me. He can put up with a camera. Uh, well, what I said, so a, a, a teeny bopper pulled up and was like, yo, can I get an interview, a quick interview for, f-? and so I was walking up to the booth to say hi to Chris and him because they was doing the broadcast. So I was like, oh, sure. So he was asking me generic questions or whatever, like who, who eats the most in A&P house? And then I was like, Chris, obviously he spends like four hours out of his day just looking for food and eating food. Uh, but anyway, I finished answering all those questions and another teeny bopper pulls up with a camera and goes, agent, and I look at him and this guy already took a photo with, so he's just here because he's bored. Um, and he goes, do you like girls or boys? And I didn't even know what the fuck to respond to him with. I've never done this to a fan before. I just looked him dead in his face. This is a teeny bopper again. I was like, what kind of fucking question is that? And I walked away. I've never had like a negative altercation like that before. I was like, why would he that ask? Negative? That negative as fuck. He put why up with a ask camera. That? Ask me if I like girls or boys. What kind of fucking question just is say, that to ask somebody? Just say girls. I, he's you a walked away. Now you left it open. I'm not answering this shitty question. I'm not answering this question while I'm on camera <laughs> so he can get a hit. Yeah, he said he like boys I and girls. Like girls. Walk away. What if I said boys? He should be like, he'd be running the other direction. But there's no real good answer to that. First of all, it's it not is. boys and girls. It's men or women, right? Yeah, because that'd be crazy. I'm He's not like, gonna tell my like I'm not gonna tell Teeny Bopper, oh I love girls. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so I was just like, "This is such a fucking awful question," and I felt bad after because uh, I got a hat that said, "I love women." <laughs> so he so, would, he so, wouldn't even bother asking you. But I felt bad after because his mood changed. But I was like, "Nigga, you don't just walk up on people that you've never met before." Well, his, I guess mood, he, his mood changed. He's like, "Damn, I thought Agent was fucking with me, man." Yeah, because I mean, like when people, well, I, I like never to, know. I like to smile and shit. Like, oh, you want to take a photo? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up? Ah, uh, so then he goes from that. Like literally five minutes prior to me being like, Yo, what kind of fucking question is that? I would have trolled him. <laughs> you like boys or girls? I like women, little nigga. 
I like women. But here, I even want to give him the clip, dog. Don't pull up with me on, on with a fucking camera unless it's a photo. Don't record me and try and fucking find yourself a lick. That shit is weird, bro. I'm not responding to that. Very, very weird uh, energy, dog. You're weird. You know, you know what happened after the game? What? After the game, we're on court side. Um, security's telling us go out, go out, go out. So I'm I'm walking off. Um, I'm walking off the court. A mom walk up to me with like someone that looked like could be her daughter. And they refuse to stop smiling. Now, keep in mind, I'm taking photos with fans here. Boom, 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 boom. And I can see them just staring at me, smiling. I'm like, why, what's, why are they so happy? So so then um, I finish all those photos and I look at them. And then uh, the mom was like, oh, hey. I'm like, oh, how are you doing? And she's like, I'm doing great. And again, keep in mind, like, you're staring and looking at me. Like, you had to guide this convo. I don't know where to take it from here because... I'm not having this convo recreationally. I'm doing this because I imagine you watch my videos. So just say something like, what do you, I, I love your videos yeah. or, hey, I watch you all the time. Just say something yeah. I can work off of in this conversation. You can't just stare at me. Yeah. So we just look at each other for a couple seconds and I go like, is this your daughter? And then she goes, uh, no, it's my niece. And I'm like, okay, we're back where we started. You need to do something like <laughs> help, help me out. With That's crazy. Combo. Help me out. But then she, it was almost as if she was trying to like lob me her niece, but she wouldn't stop staring at me and smiling. And I, it was just uncomfortable because I, I ended up taking a photo with her. It wasn't uncomfortable. Let me not drag it. I took a photo with her. But then they were still there smiling at me. And I was like, I have to do another interaction because there's all these people here waiting for me. I got to talk to you again. <laughs> no, that is it. That's, um, that's, that's odd. Uh, for you to just stop and smile at somebody and not like, and it was genuine though. I, she didn't mean nothing bad by yeah, it. I don't think it is. But um, security didn't like it though because she would keep me on the court for a minute. But eventually, I, I, you know, you know, you always have like a, you always have like your, um, your generic. This is how I get out of convo statements. I'd be like, "All right, bro. All right, bro is my favorite one." Sometimes, yeah. sometimes I'll say things like, "No, nah, just all right, all right, all right." But sometimes they don't catch that hint, so I'll be like, "Hey, it was good to meet you." Okay, let's wrap this meeting up. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's wrap this meeting up. Nice to meet you. Or if man. I'm not sure I met you before, I'll say, hey, man, it's good to see you. You know? And then that's like, this is the end. This is the conclusion of our conversation <laughs> right now. <laughs> a nigga abruptly concluding conversation. But with her, I tried that and it didn't work. So. Oh, no, she's awesome. So, no, so no, then no. I said, I said it was good to meet you, but they stuck around. So I was like, you know, I'm going to be here at games. So I guess I'll just see you around. And then she's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe like you can show her like in the broadcast booth. And I was like, I. Fuck. Okay. Oh, she was legit trying to throw the the niece to you. I was like, damn. Was she bad? She was all right. She wasn't bad. <laughs> she wasn't bad. I would have been like, nah. <laughs> Stop smiling at me. Like that. Stop smiling making me that's crazy. At the end of the day, it's the audience. Well, how do you tell an ugly girl? What's the oh, right way go. to tell an ugly girl? Here you go, John. You know. You know what? Here you go, John. Here you go, I'm just John. saying. I'm just saying. This is John. Because girls will say it. What? Girls will be like, oh. I, I oh, he's ugly or whatever. Right? I just want to know yeah. from y'all and Nodi Gang, the men watch. There's girls watching this too. I know y'all going to throw yeah, a I've, fit. No, I've noticed that as well. There's more women. A lot of women this. watch this, by the way. But how you not tell this girl, and actually playback too? I noticed that. I don't. I don't. I didn't know that. But I knew that. Bro, say what you was gonna say, please. How you tell a girl she ugly, or how do you like? You don't tell her that. You just stop talking to her. Is but, that not so, being real though? But I no, think no, 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 I think, no, no. I think when women you do don't that, destroy their self esteem. Because a girl would definitely Sorry. tell you. If you I know, but she's rude when she does it though. Just I because can, she I can do it. it though. What's the polite way? That's what I'm asking you. <laughs> you don't tell you don't her that. Tell you her. have to tell the other girl she's ugly. You don't, don't, you don't have, have to. to you don't have to. She asked you. Am I ugly? Low. Be honest with me. Yeah, bro. If ugly girl asks you how she looks, she's a bold ugly girl. But yeah, cause cause you know you ugly. <laughs> Come on, no, don't, don't ask me no so question. That's what you gonna say? <laughs> that's a stupid question. You know you know you ugly. Come that's on, a, man. That's what you gonna say? No, I'm no. What I'm saying is I'm u- asking you, ugly, what ugly. No, I'm, I'm saying. I'm about, let me answer this first. Ugly people know they ugly. So you asking me, am I ugly? She like, don't know. You know you ugly. She don't know. She oh, asking well, me. She, then, like he said, she's a bold, ugly person. And if she's genuinely asking, am I ugly? Why is he rephrasing the same question? No, I'm, I'm asking. She's genuinely asking my ugly. And she's serious? I might have to tell her, nah, you ugly, dog. Nah, I don't ever be that direct because there's a certain point where being direct is not helpful. It actually causes more problems. She knows she's ugly, bro. She knows she's She ugly. knows that because when people compliment her, they don't say things like, damn, you're fine. They say like, you got a great personality. And it's like, that's great. It's fantastic. You have a great personality. Oh, she see high fives. You'll so, need it. But she like, would, look, she high fives. But I'm not the most attractive <laughs> male So you wouldn't even hug her? But... No, you you would hug her. You would so hug her. How would you hug a ugly girl? Regularly, bro. What the <laughs> fuck? 
<laughs> Yo, Jenny, good job again hitting this joint. You know you got side hugs. <laughs> you know you crazy. got side hugs. You got the, the, the real tight front to front. No, if you're not. But the other girl, you, you probably may hit her with the. The one arm. If you uh, hit her with a fist one bump, arm, that's crazy. Soda bump. What's going on, kiddo? How you been? Look healthy. You look healthy. No. <laughs> you lost away, huh? You, you, you some dip into your hair. You give, a a shoulder bump is crazy. you give a respectful side hug, John. That's what you do, man. Um, but now in this specific instance, um, <laughs> I didn't know what to say, so I, I was kind of flustered. She had me on the spot, so I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna have to ask the OT guys, I guess." But I won't be around though. And I was like, "Come on, dog! I can't conclude a, a conversation better than what I'm trying right now." And she's like, "Oh, okay." Almost like dragging it along, but she wouldn't let that fish shit finish. So thank God I had another person here who was bold enough to just scream my name enough for like, you kind of have to reasonably turn how loud he screamed my name. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. And I kind of just did things over here and they just stuck around for a bit. But I was like, this is, this is odd. It is odd. But, um. All right. So I need three and that's things not the first you time tell I, the ugly girl. Oh my God. What the fuck? Three things you, you don't tell the ugly girl? Three, no, three 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 ways you'll tell a girl she's ugly. Uh, you just don't bring up her looks, bro. You'd be like, "Are oh, you cool? Why do you need to tell people they're ugly?" John? Yeah, why are you telling? You that? Should, people know they're ugly or they're not attractive. This is this is just for pure entertainment. I was curious to see what you'd you be say. like. Are oh, you cool? Yeah, you cool. Cool. Like, other girl came up cool. to you. This is crazy. And she said, <laughs> like, "How do I look?" You'd be like, "Yeah, you cool. You cool. You cool." Uh, that dress is valid. Yeah, I see what you was doing with that. I see. I see what's going on. So, what do you do if you get catfish? <laughs> These are questions I get DM. Someone asked me like John, I got Nobody don't ask you this thing. No, I promise. I promise. I promise. Hey, I'm, hey, 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 still hey, on the podcast hey, next time. Game, know the game would DM girl. me. No. She's know the ugly. game would DM me stuff off the pipe like John, you really true. Like when I say stuff about remember I said that bottle where it'd be water but it has a scent to it. Mm-hmm. And when you smell it, it adds flavor. Mm-hmm. Someone sent me a whole article about that. Yeah. About how true it somebody, was. Somebody somebody sent me the Michael Jackson bet, thing. Oh no, they don't. No, they don't. They don't send you shit, low. Nobody not ask you to tell us yes, how do you tell ugly women they that they're ugly. No, no, no. That that's me. Oh, that's that. what we just I'm talking about the uh what do you do when you go on a date and you got catfish? Bro, that happened oh, okay, to me. Okay, okay, that's that happened to me, dog. Yeah, I mean, let me a, finish. Bro, do you remember that girl I was <laughs> yeah. I, there was a girl I was telling Lo about. I think I no, I might not have been you, it might have been Waleed. But anyway, I was like, yo, this is this girl I just started talking to. Ah, ah. Right? So anyway, I like to set up dates pretty quickly because I could quick it, as long as it's something that I enjoy doing you could be the worst person ever and I'll still enjoy myself right? I got a story I gotta tell you by the time you finish I'll determine if I'm gonna say it or not no you're gonna say that shit <laughs> so so I pull up I pull up to uh, the parking lot right and I'm a little bit late but I'm there in my M4 so like she's gonna know I'm there type shit um, mm-hmm. so then I so then I look there's only one car in the parking lot and it's not her so I text her and I'm like yo uh, what's your ETA? And she said, I'm already here. So then I'm like, I'm like, I didn't have my glasses on, so I'm doing a double take. I'm squinting. Keep on, my windows are tinted, so I don't know how much of me she can see trying to like look into her car. Um, but I was like, damn, there's no way. So so then, <laughs> keep in mind, her photos, she looked great, man. She looked fucking spectacular. Ah! Ah, nigga said, damn, there's no way. She had all the right angles and everything, man. I don't even try and lie to women on my on my uh, page. In fact, I do the opposite where I show less and then they just be surprised when they pull up type shit. Um, but anyway, then she got out of the vehicle and it got worse. I was like, no. But then she started walking and it got worse because she walked like, I don't know. Oh, how to I know what you're it. talking about. Yeah, okay. yeah, I was like, oh, fuck. So I was like, I actually wanted to turn around, but I already had everything set up. So I was like, all right, let's just do this. Turns out she's a cool, very cool person. She's cool. She's very cool. cool. But that's, he said she's it's cool. cool. She gotta be. She's, she's cool. She was cool as well, fuck. She, she gotta be. Nigga, she's, you're crazy. <laughs> you can't be selfish and ungrateful and, and annoying. <laughs> She's too ugly for that, right? <laughs> no, but <laughs> right. <laughs> it wasn't even that. It was just that, like I felt let down, man. I felt let Yo, down. Feeling though. let down bro. is crazy. Bro, I was bro. dead excited, man. Off the rip, I was excited, but she was mad cool again. She was cool, bro. She was a mad few months cool. ago, like probably like six or seven months ago. It was a while back before the summer started. I met this one girl, and her Instagram pictures. She had like four of them, but they were banging. And it was angles where you have to be in person to really see the flaws. And then once I saw the flaws, I went back to the pictures. 
you got to know the flaw to find it in the picture. Mm. So, you know what I'm saying? She pulled up. Everything was cool. Actually, Believe was with me this day. And my whole mood changed. I, I was think, from happy then you, then you tell, you, you explain this. I don't remember the story. Where it was three of them? Stop ruining no, no, the story. No, what one. the fuck? Okay. No, no, no. It's not the same time. Because so yeah. you Stop said. Stop talking, man. <laughs> Damn, he's telling the story. Go no, ahead. no, it's not the talking same. About three of them. You said, you said it's not the same story. You talking about, you talking about, you talking about three point contest? All right, let me finish my story. Talking about three of them. Um, so it was this. <laughs> so he pull up, we chilling, and I'm looking at her, and her mouth is closed, right? So everything is cool. I'm looking. She had a jacket on. She gets hot, takes her jacket off. She has her belly tucked in her pants, like the belly. Belly meat is tucked in her pants. And she jumps up, retucks it in as she takes her jacket off. She had a crop top on. Why? Why? That's what I said. Why? 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 Why are you going to show me this now? You know what I'm saying? How far into everything was this? This is like an hour in. Like she got hot, she take it off. We just talking and everything. Why don't you And I'm trying to look at her mouth. She had them little bitty, the little bitty teeth with the braces. She had now, braces with little bead teeth? Yes. And it was bad. And then she'll do this when she laugh. <laughs> the interlock. Crazy. In- interlock is... I've never seen that. Crazy. Crazy. I've never seen interlock. You know your hands get bigger this way. I know. But the so whole... She making the- sure... Because that means at one point... <laughs> She did this yeah. and then brought everything and got made fun of. So she's like, just so Dead that like Scorpion again. from Mortal Kombat had a mask on. <laughs> so from there, I'm upset. I'm mad. Like my whole mood change come is like, I'm like, you here. I'm trying to think of a way to, to tell you to leave without oh, being mean. Man. You know what I'm saying? Cause this ain't going, it ain't going nowhere. But that's 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 like a I understand from that other person's perspective. You know, no, I tell this is a crazy thing I'm about to tell you. I never told you. It gets crazy. Hit me up like a month or two months after that because I never hit her back up. And she was like, hey, I know this is kind of weird. She may watch this. Do you care? I don't personally yeah. care. Oh, she have friends? Huh? <laughs> she has friends. She I don't think her has. friends watch this. But uh, she was like, she was like, hey. I know this is weird. I know we probably left up on the wrong foot and everything like that. And you're really cool, but uh, your friend, uh, Agent, you think he'll be interested in me? Stop. <laughs> the real story? <laughs> I said it's a real story? <laughs> Let me see if I can find a message. Let me see. Like, nah, I'm not, I didn't respond. I just started laughing. I'm just like, you know what I'm saying, why would life? I even do that to you? Yeah. Like, that's <laughs> hell, man. It's a belly tuck girl? I got you a little tooth belly belly tuck. Hold on, let me. Fuck, what's her? A belly tuck. I don't girl. It's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Let me dog. see. I don't That's remember. Crazy. You couldn't do the belly tuck girl, John. I don't remember her. I never tuck my belly. That shit. I don't understand either. Just that shit. My shit is there, dog. Yeah, it exists. No cap. I'm fat. <laughs> like, I don't know what to tell you. There's no need for me to start talking anything, nigga. Because when we untuck all of this, you'll it's see gonna it. Be there. Exactly. <laughs> I'm with the intentions that one nah, day you nah, will nah, see nah. me. I was, I was, I was, I was slight tight. I was slight tight because it's like I wouldn't do that. So that's that. that's kind of what it is. It's like it's just, I wouldn't do that. Just, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. I you, do it. Like. Most people are surprised when they see me in person because they think I'm smaller than what I am. Wait, what? They think I'm shorter than what I am. Oh, sure. I don't know why? Okay. They always, everybody think I'm five eight or five like five eight five nine around that. Why? I don't know. I don't know why. There's really nothing that gives off that you're like shorter than the average man. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Anyway, um, it's weird now that I'm having uh, more of a female audience. The Interactions are like not obviously platonic. Does that make sense? Like it's not just it's not always just all right, let's just get a photo and uh move on type shit. Oh, they trying to throw it at you. No, no, not not all the time, but it's now unclear. Like <gasps> in majority of the you found it? <laughs> found it. 
Hey, long time no talk, but I was wondering, not to sound weird or anything, but I'm interested in your friend Dean. So do I you mind putting what me on? What the fuck? We'll eat. Oh, where? Yeah, because nobody just gets my yeah. name correct. She spelled it wrong too, so. Okay. It's like so Jimmy so Dean the sausage. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> yeah. What'd you say? Huh? What'd you say? Nothing. You just ignored that. Oh, you ignored it? What I'm gonna say? I know, I was wondering, because you you asking me what I say to an ugly girl. I'm trying, what'd you say to an ugly girl? That's a oh, fucking I didn't say phenomenal nothing. question. Hey, what, I, Matthew, yeah, Matthew, what do you say to ugly women, John? Uh, I, I'm not around too many, so I don't have that. <laughs> Stop, John. Stop. So there's never a point where Stop, uh, shut the fuck up. Where I'm, below, not getting, I'm, not I'm not letting I, you get away with that, John. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not letting you get away with that. You're never you around, around women. I try to surround myself around literally, beautiful women. He literally just told us a story of one, and all of a sudden, <laughs> now he's not around them. No, no, no. I got catfish. I know, but you were around one, so what I'm saying is... Yeah, and I never... What happened? No, no, you're yeah, trying to pee. Trying. Just when you open that door, so, this I'm, one. so what I'm saying is when you're around when you one, out. when you're around an ugly, when I get out. very mad, uncomfortable. Getting mad is crazy. It's crazy. You're ugly, dog. What the fuck? No, it's like if if I don't. No, what the fuck is wrong with you? It's like it's like if the I don't dash you, you didn't even come around me. It's like the fact that <laughs> not that I'm mad, but it's just like no, you are mad, nigga. That's what you said. It's different types of mad. Not and you anger. shouldn't be an ounce of mad at you. When you see an ugly woman, what you like tell me, a nigga? No, no, no. What? If you get catfish, then oh, you well, deserve you to be frustrated. Yeah. You deserve to be no, frustrated. No, but if just an ugly woman is around, you be like, no, 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 no what no, the no. fuck ugly, is this? I don't get mad because ugly girls are no, no, no. So what Cat. do you say to ugly women? Um, give me an example. Give me, give me something. Like you're an ugly girl and come up to me. I'm minding my business. Nigga, no, I'm okay. Not. I'm, I'm, not. A, I'm an ugly girl. Okay. Uh, let's say we're at main event. We're main event to you. Who am I with? You're with Waleed. It's right. me and Waleed. Yeah. All right. And I walk up to you and I'm like, oh, wow, you're really good at this game. Waleed, isn't that the same jacket you got? No, I walk away. <laughs> what if you by yourself? Like you and Waleed separated. Then Waleed would be like this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, wait, wait, what if, what if, what if it's you and Waleed, but Waleed is like in the bathroom or something, just by you by yourself? I'll bring her to Waleed. Nigga, why yeah, would you get Waleed man. involved in this? You, you be like, you gonna because be like, will say something to make her leave, so it will cancel each other out. He'll say something and she'll be like, I don't really want to be over here that much longer. It'll what cancel if, each other out. What if, what if a, a, a average or below average woman is like constantly trying to talk to you, like at a club, like she just keeps quote unquote bumping into you? What would you do then? I, I would. Uh, I was about to say something, but I wasn't gonna do it for real. But it was gonna be funny. Say it, <laughs> I just thought about a, I thought about a movie saying she bumped me, I'm gonna bump her back. <laughs> she be the club. Ah, damn. Okay, girl. Okay, okay. Get on out there, then. <laughs> go, go ahead, get in the mosh pit. Uh, or do? you know what you do? Oh, this is a good one. You start bumping to everything. You take it to the mosh pit and dip. Well, you go to mosh pit. You take parties? it to the mosh pit. It's crazy. Just it beat it to the pit. Hey, you're dancing with someone. You, take you start it to the jumping with like this. <laughs> and then, okay, okay, come and on, then, come on. Then, okay, come turn, on, you come turn on. around. And he get, out there. There. get out there. You get out there. Get out there. And they just start turning up, but you it didn't close. Just tell her you're not interested, bro. That's it, man. You don't have to tell her she's ugly. Uh, she nah, that's, that, yeah, like, no, I don't want. I don't. I don't say you. I don't say you're ugly. Yeah, okay. obviously. Nobody be, does. Be I'm quite, not an asshole. I'm not an asshole. That'd be quite rude. Yeah, one time, like, I know where I stand on the leaderboards of men. You feel me? And sometimes, like, women walk up to me, and they're way too good looking to be chasing me. But it's what they're doing, quite literally. And it, it makes me uncomfortable because it just... Because I've never been gifted something so easily before. It's almost as if if someone was like, if you got a tweet that was like, yo, click this link, and you'll get $1,000. I'm like, come on, dog. I'm not... Something's coming with this. Like something comes with what yeah. is going on right here. Uh, so it's 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 I don't know. I don't it, know. It's all types of experiences. Yeah, how do you feel when a girl that's really really bad approach you? Yes, I'm telling you that's exactly. I'll be, what's, I'll be thinking. I don't know. I feel like something's up. Like I just need to understand motive. I I feel like that doesn't just happen though. Yeah, regardless of the scenario, when it happens, it is like, hey, women don't normally approach men regardless. Yeah. So when that happens, it's like. Right, so well, they won't necessarily approach. They just put themselves in positions where so I'm say like be a at. dime. No, but I, I'm talking about. But, I, I see, but I'm talking about like obviously doing that. Like you're right. Women normally women don't be like, "Hey, my name is Dada," but they'll like 
obviously try to be around you without like they obviously or, or they'll like to make a couple slick comments in your vicinity that maybe you, you might like want to respond to that'd be crazy if, if a girl was like man this nigga OG gonna win most improved I'm like, well, like yes <laughs> So what? So what are you doing for? <laughs> yeah, Masai well, Jury's killing it this year. You're like what? 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 Exactly. That's gonna be my reaction right there. Oh. Uh, but that's say uh, yeah. Don Pease walks up to you. She goes, "Hey, she don't know you what you do. She just come up to you." That's just not gonna happen. And she come up to you and she go, it's "Hey, not, I not, really like your hair." Not. I've been living life for a while now. That's never happened. Or she going to yourself like she, something? If she did, know, on, if on she, some business shit, yeah. But if she did that, I would immediately assume she's doing it because of financial reasons. Like she's doing it to try to take advantage. Why of do you she, know it's up a genuine? Is your point in life? It's very, it's very it's fucking hard. hard. You just it's have to hard. talk to people. They'll, they'll kind of show you their priorities. Um, so if she's not that bad, you think it's genuine. You think if she's really bad, it's not genuine. No, no, no. If she's really they can bad, be either one. If, if she's if, really bad, bad, I'm usually gonna have to be the one like making the not only the approach but the conversation. And then, like, if she starts warming up to me due to the conversation, I'll be like, oh, okay, that's a fantastic sign. Yeah, I, yeah, before I blew up on YouTube, there just wasn't bad women walking up to me like that. And for, I don't know why, maybe it's because I just keep. But you were fat then, too. Yeah, I mean, I'm still fat now. So, not not as still, much. Yeah, I'm less fat. I'm less fat. Yeah. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, um, back before I did YouTube, like, the only time I was talking to women is when I went out of my way. When I was on campus, there was the occasional time people would shoot their shot, but it was fucking campus and everybody was horny. Like once I left campus, it just didn't happen unless I went out and looked for it yeah. or it was just happenstance. Like I was at a game and uh, we were watching the Raptors play and I was sitting beside somebody and I just started to raise up or whatever. Uh, that's just been my experience at least. But hey, man, maybe. Uh, but so like, OK, here's a good question. I might have asked this come this question, but I forgot you guys the answers. Is it less or more artificial if someone likes you because of your status or money than it is if they like you because you look good? Because you looking good is, I would argue, still pretty artificial. But for some reason, like if John has a six pack of abs and like you got your shirt off and like women is, is walking over to you or just making themselves available, would you argue that's less or more artificial than if they walked up to you because like you were an NBA player or you had a lot of money? Uh, I mean, body. I think it's artificial when it's because looks is every, like that's normal. When you look at a girl, a ugly girl not gonna make you walk up to her. You're not gonna want to get to know her. So the look is what brings you in. Uh, it's artificial when you already know what they have, and that's why you, the look don't even matter no more. You just know what they had to offer. That's why I feel like it's artificial. So like, say I already know you're a millionaire. <laughs> And I don't even care about your looks. You could be fat, skinny, or something like that. It don't matter. But if you look good, like you look good to me, and then isn't that the I same thing though? It? Like, what if she just cares about your looks and she doesn't give a fuck whether you have money, you're successful, nothing. She just cares that you look good. But if you, I mean, I would it, argue it feels like to, it's in the same boat. It's in the same. It's definitely in the same boat. I would just feel like the looks is kind of worse. I mean, outside of you working to like get abs or whatnot or stay fit, I'll. There's probably a lot of genetics that came along with the way you like you just personally look in your face and yeah. stuff like that. That's not they ain't got nothing to do with like what you did and worked on as a person. You just were born with yeah. genetics that probably just made you look good. And so like it's not even that we can sit here and say, Hey, I'm you know, I've earned this amount of money so that can then equate to I work hard. I there's just some people who just I was born this way and I just look good. So now you just being gra you gravitating to me, and that's literally all you get are getting from my looks. Yeah, that's that's pretty that's pretty old. Yeah. So you think? So you saying like she just likes you because you look good, but nothing else? Well, yeah. So would that be any different than if she just likes you because you're rich and nothing else? It's in the same room, but I, it's I would in the say same room. Like, but the financial, just liking financial, is a lot worse. That's I, I get that feeling worse? too, but I don't know why though. Because I mean, like, if she likes me because I look good, that's I not guess a, not a bad thing. I no, mean, no, that's but what like, you want, right? Each one has its no, own merit. What? A lot of the time, that's the only reason why she likes you. It's not like that's a part of it. That's the only reason. Because it should feel like the same thing, but it feels it like I if I saw somebody and she just fucked with you because she had money, then I'd be like, damn, that's kind of sad. But well, if, if she, she fucked with you because you look good, I guess, I guess that's why the reason she would why fuck with me because I look good. 
I know, but that's the only reason why. There's no other reason. That's literally just it. I guess the reason why you believe that it's worse is because you can take it because there's something for the other party to lose, which is the finances. If I just look good, I look good. You, you're not. There's not much of, yeah. of you taking advantage yeah, of me. You're not really like taking. Yeah, you're not from taking me. Me, from me. I just take me for granted because only thing you could take from me is sex and looking at me. And you can get that from somebody else. You know what I'm saying? But money, I've been giving yeah. you C level dick the whole entire time just because I look good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense, actually. <laughs> yeah. Is it, is it the ability to be taken advantage of financially? I still feel like they in the same realm, though. Like, I hope that y'all not really in these relationships with men or women. And that's like the only thing y'all got gravitate to. That should be crazy. Yeah. I was reading a bunch of studies on like how. People who are attractive get hired more for jobs and like just across the floor just have. Now, I I didn't look into See, these research me, methods. To me, so that's, again, that's could, fucked up. Like, that's why I believe like just simply looks is horrible because like. We should do that. What? Open a business just for ugly people. We, we only hire good, ugly don't get hired. <laughs> you got to be damn near scary. Like the interview process comes in. We both sit there blindfolded. We take it off. <laughs> And if we don't jump in any type of way, like, fuck. <laughs> Damn, nigga. Yeah, you hired for sure. <laughs> yeah, you ugly as shit, my boy. Get it back there. Uh, Get back there. The grease is hot. <laughs> yeah, being, like, not traditionally attractive is has been fantastic for me. I feel like I'd skate by on um, a lot of, like, I think when you look good, like, opportunities just present themselves to you. That's where I feel like the average experience is. And I've been around people who conventionally look attractive and things just come to them. Uh, but also, I'm not sure that that would make you any happier. That's why I, so I keep I keep I thoroughly believe like I don't necessarily know if that's a good thing in the long run. Like, yes, for short term gratification in the moment you get what you want. But like long term wise, like you don't really build social skills we talked about that a lot where a lot of women they look good they have they are inept at building social skills because they never really have had to talk in a certain way or talk to regardless of the the gender because people are just attracted and they gravitate to them because they're, they're attractive they've never they really don't um they don't uh, um possess possess a certain amount of responsibility or accountability like just as a person because like they never had to like they've been given a lot of slack and leeway because they are Attractive, or and even in some terms of like growth as an individual, it's not necessary, especially to the tune of someone else who isn't attractive. Because again, they don't have to show that much personal growth. Because again, they're attractive. There's a lot of things that comes along with it. It's a benefit in a, in the immediate moment, but once you start to do a lot of self reflecting, or once you realize the situation you're in, yeah, I don't, I can't imagine that it's like the most fulfilling lifestyle. Yeah. I watched, um, sometimes I watch like weight loss videos because it's motivating as fuck to see other people do it. And I watch these videos of women who are like, or even just men too, but especially women who lose weight and then immediately like the world kind of opens up to them. Like people will stop when their car breaks down on the side of the road, just everything. Like men are bending over backwards to just be like gentlemen um, because they look good. And uh, it... A couple of the videos I watched, the women ended up being like hurt by that, like annoyed yeah. that like their whole lives they've been living it this one way. And then it's like, but all I have to do is just look different and I'm the same person, but I'm being treated entirely differently. It's weird how uh, the average person would treat someone differently just because of the way that they look. And I see it too, bro. Like you hold the door open longer, I see, I dead see it happen, and which is like, why though? To the to the tune of even how they get, how they interact with people at at um at, at restaurants, like oh, even I heard how, about those too. Yeah, yeah, like even just how they interact with even in in on both obviously on both stretches. If you're a waitress, then yeah, they can be different, but just how consistently the waiter or waitress checks in on you as as a patron or a customer. How often um, they, how quickly they'll give you your food, how quickly they'll give you your drinks, all of those things. How how less um, how the expectations drop because uh, how the expectations drop in terms of how much of a tip you're going to give. All that stuff is just significantly different because you just look a certain way. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the reason why I feel like to an extent that's worse because in terms of like morally, there's no I don't I don't see what's the what is the moral benefit of just 
you can't really morally justify liking someone just simply based off their looks. But at least you can, you could nine times out of 10, you can justify like, hey, I know for a fact you had to work hard to get to where you, where you are right now. And there's a laundry list of things that come with, like just a laundry list of morals and characteristics that come with you working hard. But I understand what you're saying because you can definitely get take advantage of from your financial gains instead of your, you know, your beauty gains. Your beauty gains is crazy. Yeah, you can't get, can't get taken care of too much. You know, you can't be beauty broke. <laughs> but you can be broke, broke, nigga. You can no, be just, for real. Just, <laughs> You can be broke. She can take all that shit, but she can't take your beauty, my nigga. She can't take your handsomeness. Yeah. <laughs> your handsomeness. She can't she can't take that, nigga. So to all my girls broke can can't, drain your handsomeness. That'd be crazy. Now if they can do that, that'll be wild. If women could drain niggas' drain handsomeness. handsomeness for right. them to become more beautiful, that'd be crazy. Why would you be around? Why would that no? And the, the same thing applies to women who take advantage of men financially so they can go spend whatever they want. Oh, true. Exactly. Think about so that. it should be the other way around then. Men can drain women's beautiness oh. and then women can drain men's financialness. I'm taking mm. your beauty. Think about ugly nigga came up on three baddies. Nice, gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> An ugly nigga turning gorgeous dating the right type of woman. Yeah, I got, I got a job at his... I got a, a a modeling firm. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know we was we was in those rooms. I, the the um, there's a uh, abnormal amount of women who would date men off of just finance. Like they like yeah. was, even when we was re- recording one of the playback videos. The, one of the girls is like, I don't care. I don't care if you got a, even you got a small dick. I don't care about looks. I just want to make sure you got money. And I was like, man, there's women who like. Not only legitimately believe that, but like well, are did bold enough also to say, say they're gonna be faithful. Huh? Did they also say they're gonna be faithful? Would the woman? Cheat. Yeah. No, no, but you know what's so crazy? The the dude on the other end, he said, Well, what if he's not faithful? And she still's like, I don't care. Cause she's not gonna be faithful. She, she just wanna not. be safe. Well, they they joked about it too. It's like, so what the nigga gonna penetrate you with his money? And she was just like, I don't care. He can he can cheat on me. That's not so really she a be taken care of. Then. Yeah, she just want to do what she want to do. You know what's so crazy? She want to be taken care of, and then sat there and said, I'm in I'm in debt because I just came out of college. So I'm like, what's the point That's of wild. going to college? You just you wasted all that money to go to college just for a nigga to take care of you. You know, uh, one of the girls that um, was at the was at the crib, um, she had men pay for her life. To the point where she didn't have a job and she had money coming in. So how she got to the crib for a stream was through a man paying for her to go to a crib to be part of Riz Academy. And then the man paid for her Uber to drive back to the thing. And he was not even involved in the situation whatsoever. But that's so she just lives up so she can care less like. Cause that was her most important thing. I'm telling you right now, those niggas are the those those are the worst. Those are our worst enemies to dating. Those men are the worst enemies. Not really. No, they are. Why? Because they already set they they set a standard for those type of one for her. They set a standard. I know, but even those type of men are also casually just giving compliments and attention to women that like normally probably would not even receive it. So now they just those men across the board set a higher standard and expectations for even average or slightly above average women. They do. Those those men are the worst. Maybe, but I just I just know that anyone who'd be interested in that, me and her wouldn't just get along like that. So Oh yeah, for sure. I but I also say he's also the enemy because she's not building any type of relationship skills at all. Because yeah. she's there's no need for her to ever do it if she just. Uh. Yeah. Those are the worst niggas. Y'all niggas are the worst, dog. Y'all are um. Secret tricks. What do they call them? I don't know. Nah, they just tricks. Yeah, but they. I feel like they doing it in the in the shadows. Like they don't be. Yeah, out they don't about, be tweeting about it. Like yeah, yeah. they don't. They don't be tweeting about. It. They ain't taking no pictures. They just she just <laughs> call and be like, I need that Uber, and he just does it like from where to where. Yeah, Uber Black. Yeah, and he just does it. Them niggas, y'all tricking in the shadows. That's what y'all doing. Them niggas, y'all niggas are the worst. <laughs> Trick yeah. in the lights. Yeah, go ahead, you at least dead ass. Just at least tricking the light, nigga. So we already know what's really going on, nigga. But don't don't be tricking in the shadows, nigga. You, you nasty, dog. You nasty. Uh, any anything else? Anything else? Nah, it's about time for us to wrap this podcast up. Hey, John, or anything else? All right, All right say it, love, man. Boy.
Shout out to my audio people out there. I mean, excuse me. Shout out to my podcast people out there for joining us on another audio adventure. Shout out to my audio people out there on all platforms. Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Continue to raise a five star. Uh, shout out to my YouTube people. Hit the subscribe button, notification bell to join Noti Gang, 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 Gang. And click all the links in the description, my boy. And then finally, um, word of mouth people. Twitter, Twitter Spaces, IG. IG, y'all falling behind. We didn't talk about how IG is going to allow um, nude um, content. Oh, damn. I forgot about that. Huh? <laughs> yeah. They get excited. Niggas, no, I'm saying niggas get banned. Get their profile deleted. Yeah, nigga. All IG, because of what Instagram called nudity. No, no, no. Well, let, me, let me clear. They're they, 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 they going to allow it, but they're going to allow it in like an only fan, OnlyFans type of form format. So they're gonna have you're gonna have now these IG models gonna have subscriptions to to either certain posts that they have, or they, <laughs> yeah, IG models. I, I won't be able to take y'all niggas serious. Y'all been y'all been showing us half ass naked photos for literally a decade at this point. I can't. There's no way you about to make any. If you nigga, if I you nigga. paying for that, you're dumb, bro. She been posting half naked photos. For a decade, nigga, it's been on the site. And some of them are the, the damn near see through. Yeah. So like, why what are you missing? You, the you only, don't know what tits look like. Exactly. <laughs> the only thing you missing is fucking areolas, my nigga. Pussy or something. Like. A- are- areolas <laughs> is the only thing you missing. And unless she's just legit spreading the fucking lips on the vaginas, nigga, you've already seen it all, bro. But yeah, you already, you already she, know niggas going squirting Kool Aid. It ain't nothing to see, man. You already, you already know, you already know, niggas are gonna are gonna give with the fucking money. Y'all niggas is crazy too, bro. It's, if if it's a woman who been on IG half naked for the past five years, bro, and you start paying, that's crazy, bro. I can understand if she been, you know, she been a little secretive. Now all of a sudden she trying to get naughty. I can't understand that. <laughs> what? But nigga, if she been out and about, bro, come on, come on. Also, um, the links. Shout out to Kanye. Even he said he used the links. He use a uh, oh yeah the mega links yeah he's go to Reddit to get the links so come on you can do that as well um, but also finally shout out to um, TikTok TikTok number still going crazy until next time we'll catch y'all later man peace.